Hello and welcome to... I don't even know when this will release, but... Uh, you see, Sneaky Fringy and Sneaky Rags and Sneaky Mumblo have been answering Super Chats in places you wouldn't expect. In, in like your this. kitchen, right now. Go it, look! Yeah. You may notice, to the right, there is no one moving in that big old gray block. Or Yeah, that's gray, right? It's like a dark no, we're, gray. We're in, we're, in, uh, we're in the void here, alone, mm -hmm. floating for eternity. Well, they got the, the comforting sounds of Mario Kart in the background, so there's that. But... Oh, yes. <laughs> you, you hear that and the void. Just, uh... Yeah, and the <laughs> void just forever. That's a, that's a happy song, but I feel like if you listen to it for a thousand years, it would just become an omen of suffering. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I guess even now, right, whenever you hear the blue shell accompanying it, it is sort of an omen. It's mm. like, you know... You compare it to, like, the stuff in Elden Ring or, like, Dark Souls music. It's just like, no, this is true. This is the void right here. What you're listening to is the beginning of a video that goes over every super chat that was given in for... I don't even know what the number of the EFAP was, because I only wrote down that it was part of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So it's that episode. It was, like, 11 hours long, and we went through the entire show. <sighs> It's actually one of the more popular episodes. I think people fucking hated that show. I can't imagine um, why. <laughs> it, um... yeah, yeah, like now, now it's like how many more Marvel shows we had in the interim, like four or five. I know, right? It's... Every time, it's like the Ugh. coolest thing ever at the time, people say, but then give it like a few months. <laughs> Everybody stops caring. There were people that were defending that. You gotta do better thing when it came out. I doubt they did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I it, it would be it would it would be very amusing if someone tried. <laughs> That's for sure. Regardless, we're gonna read the messages you guys sent in, one by one, until they're all done. Then uh, you'll see that this thing will pop out at some point. You'll be like, whoa! So um, I guess we'll get started. This is mm -hmm. in. Wait a minute. This is probably in the wrong order, actually, because some of these are about the whole do better speech. So it's like, let me scroll down. <laughs> Reverse order. Maybe that's the correct chronological one. Perhaps. Well, you know what? I'll try it. And if things make sense, then we'll be all right. So, first one. Um, What would you rather have? Immortality or invulnerability? Super slow eternal regen that will always ensure you come back in one way or another, or complete immunity to all forms of damage, but not death by age. I think I'll take the first one. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I uh, immortality always feels like one of those things where it's like, is that? Do you really want that? Are you sure? You know. I always like jump to the uh, absurd and extreme, like everything gets destroyed, but I'm just there floating in space, eternally dead, basically. All yeah, yeah, a little bit. No, oh, well, if we're but doing that, um, then I guess the second one. Well, I, but also just think about like how much it will change your perspective on um, like feels like human beings are very much like a lot of what our experience is about is framed through the lens that we are not permanent. Um. I wonder how much it would change you as a person to become basically immortal. I just, yeah, I, I, I think I would be enjoying how I can just survive anything in life and go on forever, but every once in a while I'd be thinking like, man, what if the Earth gets destroyed at some point and I'm the only one left and... Mm -hmm. And then, and then what if the planet itself explodes, because that'll happen eventually. Yeah. What am I what doing then? <laughs> Heat death of the universe when all of the stars die and even the black holes slowly but surely radiate off through Hawking radiation, all of their mass, and you're just in nothing forever. We talked about the void. But <laughs> the Mario Kart Emperor, void. That would be forever. Well, if I had Mario Kart Double Dash to play for the, until the end of time, I, I don't know if that'd be such a bad trade, really. It certainly could have been worse, you know? Like. I'll been complete worse, the game be. on all difficulties, and then mirror mode. <laughs> that'll then, that'll take a little yeah, bit, you know. Do it all over again. Yep. Why the fuck not play as every character? Imagine that. Yeah, exactly. Great. Um. But yeah, but uh, and just the hated one character so much. Even if you had an actual eternity to play it, you just was like, I just, I won't play Bowser. Well, like if uh. 
if you're playing Smash Brothers and you just refuse to play as like Meta Knight, it's like it's not fair. It's not fair. Even if there's nobody <laughs> around, it's not fair. <laughs> I'm a principled man, okay? <laughs> like, not fair to myself. I I'm so principled that I'll do it when nobody's around. Literally nobody, because it's the end of the universe. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Uh, I would also worry, by the way, about the Eternal Life one. Basically, like, people finding out eventually. Oh, um, right. Because people would figure it out eventually, I would and imagine. Funnily it's enough, more so than just governments trying to be like, hey, how do you work and poking you and stuff, but also you being like, maybe you should study me because I could probably help people if they can, if you can maybe. draw anything from this. Yeah. So, obviously, there might be some stipulations involved in this uh, wizard deal. But, uh, the wizard's like, you can't tell anyone. It's entirely magical. If people figure it out, that's your problem. That was your mistake. Oh, but, like, but yeah. But yeah, I think to be safe, I would probably gun for the uh, a, a good strong life that ends at the normalish time. I think I'm on board with that too, yeah. Uh, no one ever stopped to ask the verbal terrorists why they stood up to the top of... stood up to the top YouTubers. You need to do better, Toxic Brood. Also, hi rags, rip and tear, lol. Lol. Um, Hello to you. So that's also a reference to the do better shit. That could, that could, we could be at the end or the beginning. I guess we'll find out. Is mm -hmm. Falcon the Witch Soldier better than Thor two? Um, I can't remember I, much of Thor two. I, I don't think Thor two assassinated any characters. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure like Thor two is generic bad, not like abominable but, but who knows i haven't seen it in a long time yeah um but yeah just quick guess would be that thor 2 is better it's just more i don't know boring i guess i don't know yeah um any plans to have Tharias unlimited on the podcast he's uh the batwoman enjoyer i think so. yeah he is a batwoman enjoyer chad batwoman enjoyer i wonder if it, uh, we might have ran out of time to do some kind of batwoman panel um Maybe, yeah. Um, but, you know, maybe something in the future, a fair, I don't know. A farewell to Batwoman. All our favorite maybe. memories. That would be cool, our actually, if we quotes. could uh, <laughs> get the fans of, of all the channels to sort of get their favorite moments, maybe send in, send in timestamps and then get us all and watch together and, you know. I don't know. That could be fun. I would pick Mighty. us reacting to when we exploded the thing in the... Remember the bridge scene, episode two, I think? I was like... yeah. That, that's that where I knew the show oh, was yes, special. I was like, we're in for <laughs> greatness. Absolutely <laughs> lost our shit. That was, uh, <laughs> man. Oh god, that's like almost nostalgic at this point. It's a simpler time. Yeah, because, well, so Batwoman will be the blueprint. It will be, because we've covered, mm. we'll end up covering more and more TV shows, I, I hope. I'd like us to. Mm. Um, I like the format, and I think we can get a lot of good discussion out of it, and maybe cover some good ones. Like we do with Hill House, you know, uh, and and Black yeah. Black Woman, Black Woman, as as is now the case, but uh, Batwoman will be the, the progenitor of all of that. It'll be the one that proved that it could work. My favorite. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just says hi, Mola. Hello. Got to go to work, but have a great day and two dollars. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I hope you had a good oh, day nice. in work that year ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope your day is well. Maybe he's got a different job or I don't know. All kinds of stuff. Um, it's sad that Gina Carano was fired, but at least the Vanda Menace finally stopped sucking Disney Disney's large throbbing rooster. Uh, well, uh, specifically Mandalorian, I guess. Um, because a lot of people did have a lot of positive things to say about it, but I think it's fallen apart now to the point where if you ask them how they feel about it. Like even season one, they'll be like, "eh, it was, it was, eh." We're still, still being the controversy boys and being like, "no nah, shit, it it's poop terrible, it's awful." Open up your eyes. Um, what I see a lot now is people using Mando as a comparison with Master Chief. This is how you do the character right, and I'm like, "Stop it, Mando, shit." Mando <laughs> that shit is, uh, tier you're as right. A character. People are doing that. Yeah. Man, Mando got it right with the helmet, and, and you're just like, did, did that, I don't even, the fact that he kept it, use Dread, okay? If you have to use someone, use Dread. Don't use Mando. Mando didn't even get it right. It broke its own rules, like, several times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we even said, like, we didn't want his helmet coming off in season one. 
people did. Uh, yeah, I never I wanted to see his face. We should have counted as lucky. I guess people just really want to see the faces. There's always gun for um, having characters react to it at most. You never actually see it. That's like a nice way to do it if you have to do it. And you don't. No, no, you don't. Um, yeah, funnily enough, uh, timeline wise, I don't know if this will line up at all or make any sense, but there was a um, Friday Night Tights episode I was on, and uh, Mad Loring came up, and Jeremy was saying that even with, um, you know, season two not being liked by many people and stuff, like season one was, you know, people were saying different things about it, and he was like, I still remember when I got into a call with Rags and Muller, and they just like, Talking to me about episode, uh, and I was like, episode four, the ATST one. Episode four. Yep. And uh. I think it was like 10 minutes he went from saying, like, it was pretty fucking awesome to, oh god, that was terrible. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, because it was, it, was, it was an episode. It was. That was an experience. Watching that, mm, too much stupid. Yeah, it was really disappointing, too. It was Very disappointing. I had hope for that show. Sort of. Man, imagine mm -hmm. that. Imagine the idea of, like, watching opening episodes, or even one, of a show, and being like, this is kind of neat, and then it being bad. I wonder if that's happened <laughs> recently. Hmm. Mm. Or, I guess, depending on when this episode comes out, several years from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Hey, Disney's Abomination's a new one, guys. You're the only ones who can. Hi, Rags. Hello. Yeah, we'll do it. We, we, we done did it, I think. Hey guys, could you help me out? I want to get into PC gaming, but I don't know where to start. Do I buy or build? What makes a good PC? Thanks. Uh, well, you... Look. Oh, go for it. You can buy one. There are, there are good pre-builds out there. Just make sure you're getting a... You're, make sure you're getting a good one. Search some tech channels for good pre-built recommendations, and no doubt they can find you some. Just be aware, a lot of them are crappy. You can build one. It's not super complicated at all. Um, like Lego for it's, adults. It's kind of. It's certainly doable. The thing so is, that is might um, be I don't know you if you have you probably have them in America, but like there are just places where that will sell PC parts that if you just give them a full parts list, they'll build it for you for like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, there's some uh, services who do that. I, I can't recall any off the top of my head, but those services absolutely do exist. Yeah. But just familiarize yourself with the parts and what they do watch you know channels that'll tell you about the parts and how they you know fit together both in terms of how they function and like physically um and just look up builds within the price range that you're comfortable with like if you say pc under one thousand dollars you'll find so many articles that will just give you a, a parts list yeah um, there's all kinds of websites like pc part picker and stuff like that that will yeah. help you set one up for yourself and get one ready maybe the key is to just go to craigslist or look in the want ads or whatever it is the the yellow pages uh and see if there's someone local who just uh is is kind of a tech guy who you know will come over teach you things tell you what all the uh what all the parts do stuff like that a lot of people do that as a service because um mm -hmm. I'm in for building a new PC soon, called TM. Uh, are you similar to that, Rags? I can't remember. Are you... Uh, sort of, yeah. I'm probably... Because there was a point in time where I was totally thinking about I was definitely going to have a new PC by now, and then things but... happened with prices and whatnot, and, yeah. you know, COVID and the silicon shortage and all that sort of stuff just hit at once. Um, and now... There's a whole new series of cards that's supposed to be getting announced slash released in quarter three of this year. So I'm just going to wait for that. But I'm, then uh, after that, yeah, I will be taking a look, getting something new. I'm happy that I spent a lot of money when I got mine because I built mine in 2017. And even now, it's like I'm totally happy with it. Um, yeah, I don't generally I tell people... Yeah, I think it's better that way, because when I built my first PC, I didn't spend as much money, and um, I did have to, like, up... And this was kind of, like, before PlayStation 4 and Xbox One came out, so then there was a little bit more pressure to, like, get more RAM than I had gotten, um, get a new GPU, and yeah, it's, it's it was better to just um, 
in my case, to spend a bunch of money all at once to try and future-proof. But I mean, you can, depending on what games you want to play, you can, it, like, if you're only going to be playing, um, if you're playing a lot of the popular games on PC, a lot of the ones that are specifically designed to run on, on um, lower-end hardware, like League of Legends or CSGO, Valorant, Overwatch, like, these are all games that you can play on, a, on like, a mid range PC, even lower than that really if you want to. Like you don't need to spend a lot of money unless you want to be playing like the latest cutting edge games at the highest um, resolution frame rate and like graphical settings. So just think about what type of games you want and then how much you're willing to spend and, and you'll be fine. There's heaps of resources out there. Really, when I was fishing for my first PCs and stuff, the resources back then so much worse than they are now. Like now, uh, websites yeah. built for basically everything. It is well, super yeah, blossom, absolutely. PC gaming is, yeah, it's way much, uh, it's way bigger a thing now than it was, like, a decade ago. It's just a super friendly ecosystem to be in, yeah, for games. Uh, you got so many people who are ready to help, and so many resources and streaming you culture, Streaming culture has uh, helped yeah. propagate through. Well, when they stream people's builds, that's, that's just really cool as an idea. Like, Yeah. You can just watch them literally create your PC. But yeah, hopefully that helps. That um, the show would have ended so many times if Bucky and Sam carried guns like they usually do. Yeah, Bucky not having a gun is because uh, he normally does carry one. I was about to say, I went to Falcon first. I was like, oh yeah, because he has his two little like handheld yes, Uzi things, doesn't he? Usually, but he only he only decides to kill people in that opening action scene when he's fighting the flag smashers. He just decides to go yeah. hyper non -leaf. Super soldiers are super threatening if you don't have a gun. <laughs> yeah, especially when you are just a normal guy, like which he is. He's a normal dude. Yeah, very true. I really want to hear FLB break wind loudly. FLB. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Break um, wind loudly? I really want to hear you release a wet, messy blast. I don't think this is too much to ask, please. I don't know who FLB is. Or fat, what? F fat, loud, but... Point fat is, that stuff butt. doesn't get picked up by our microphones. Uh, we have AI software that that will not allow for the those noises to come across the microphone there's nothing we can do it's out of our hands technology has limited us limited yeah. us in this way yeah um, it can't be done unfortunately that isn't it but... it really is you'll have to just imagine it in your head you'll have to sit at home close your eyes just lay in bed just think uh i wonder what i wonder what a freaky fart <laughs> sounds like. oh it's free as they want is it Oh, I just had um, to pick someone. I had to pick one of the three. I couldn't pick myself or Mahler, so I had to pick Freddy. Uh, I can't say that I've frequently decided to whip out my phone and start recording my thoughts, but... Well, let this guy know you if you should, do. You should whip In out matches instead. Um, I mean... Well, that feels like, um... Yeah, I guess... Yeah. Um, nah. You know what? No. <laughs> that was a journey. Yeah. All right. Um, hi, Rags. Hi. When I was little, I had a JJ the Jet Plane themed birthday party. Even the cake had JJ on it. Picture that in your head. Wow. There's never been another little cake like this. That's that's nice. Yeah. Part of the theme song. I'm so much in love with the sky like this. Mm hmm When you're the oldest of four, mm. The things you absorb. Or DCEU fan in the wild, using literally every argument you refuted. Ari, Superman in Man of Steel, and praising the literary depth of Justice League. It was astonishing. Uh, <laughs> that must have been painful, <laughs> knowing what you know. Kind of nuts, yeah. Like, uh, the world of delving into Snyder's vision. Like, the amount of work fans do to make it seem like the greatest films of all time for writing is just the... You just don't expect it when you watch them because they're so horribly bad. Yeah, it's true. 
Uh, destroy this terrible show, Longman. The show is the biggest punch in the face, especially if you're a fan of the Civil of Civil War. Y yeah. Uh, to be I fair, like how it used all of them have been. Well. You know, it's like it's not your wow. The guy who made Falcon Winter Soldier, the guy who composed for it, is the same one who did Civil War. But you get what I mean. Yeah. Um. Unlike all of the movies, have ignored the accords. Had passing oh, mentions, yeah, we, but that's about yeah. it. They don't exist anymore, as far as I can yeah, tell. Yeah, they just might as well have never happened. They just don't give a fuck. Away. No one cares yeah, about anything are, uh, anymore in that world. Hi, Rags. Hello to you. Hi, Mubes and gang. Hello. Oh, yeah, this is before Freaking would even have been a host, right? Oh, wow. Damn. We're taking it old school. I yeah. just published my first video ever responding to Plinkett's review of the prequels. I couldn't have made it without you guys for inspiration, so thank you. Good stuff. Well, that's great. You're I welcome. Hope in, uh, I guess in the intervening year, maybe that's uh, maybe there's a bit of traction on that. Who knows? Yeah. I hope you had fun and enjoyed yourself. Yeah, because we eventually uh, covered his Revenge of the Sith video, didn't we? Ooh. We did. All yes, in, we did. Yeah. That went interestingly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because it uh, it's, it's such a strange, it's like it's hard for people to take this uh, a side of sorts. It's like, oh no, do I side with the Plink. prequels, my love, or do I side with the Plinket, my other love, or do I side with the Fappings, I also love? It's a it's a complicated Maybe. one. Only yeah. teaching me that I have to trust myself. There's yeah. no one else. Yeah. Everyone just lets me down. I think our conclusion was he makes good points, bad points, and is funny. Us, uh... Yes, it he was is an entertaining video. Definitely entertaining, but he was a mixed bag. I wonder how much of that uh, goes on today. I wonder if he was to if he was to remake that video, uh, how it would change. Well, you gotta wonder how anything changes in the meta now that we have a trilogy that generally is considered to be like worse or or at the very least terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say it's considered worse. Uh, I guess the problem is I'm not sure, like, broadly, publicly. I think a lot of people like the prequels more, but I don't, I don't know, like, if there's perceived as being worse. It's hard to say. Yeah, people fight over that a lot. They're like, uh, obviously everyone still thinks they're garbage, and some people are like, no, they don't. And mm -hmm. just like, oh, fucking no. No, if, no, they're bad. If a name ends with S, does the apostrophe come before or after it when it comes to making it a possessive? God, it's after. It's so it's generally it's after. Really because yeah. you don't want to actually sort of like change the name itself yeah. by inserting an apostrophe well, onto it. I think I think it's just you you can't. That is the name. So like if somebody's name is uh Jones, uh Joneses will just be like J O N E S and then apostrophe. That's how it works with S. So like like me, it is R A G S. Apostrophe. It would be R I yeah, like if it was something that belonged to you, it would be R I G S and then uh, apostrophe. That's that is correct grammatically, or I guess punctu punct punctuationally. A yeah, lot of that's people, punctuation, not grammar. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people give the old R A G apostrophe S. They change my. F they my change, name. Yeah, because your name is not Rag. It is Rag. It's not Rag. It's right. It it's is not Rag. rag. So remember that from now on, those of you who write rag, apostrophe s, apostrophe s, and, and so on and so forth. You have no yeah. excuse now. I, I guess unless no you excuse. didn't listen to this EFAP whenever this comes out. No, you don't have an excuse. You, you learn that, You everyone learned that in school. Everybody does learn that in school, actually, yeah. Evening, lads and ladies. Here's some money that I would have wasted on a Disney Plus subscription if it wasn't for you guys. Hope you're all keeping well. Heil Rags, Kick J, etc., etc. Oh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I realize that we operate as a form of, um, MCU watch, you know, for other people who are like... Yeah, well, I guess unless you wanted us to talk about Hawkeye. That's the only one we've missed so far, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is the only one that we've missed. Yeah, we didn't and even do it. I'm not feeling particularly compelled to check to see what I missed out on. No. Though, I suppose there is a funny element of, like, it could be the best one. It could, possibly, yeah. Lowest stakes. 
suppose that's our loss. Wow. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I can't imagine it being a big loss. Hmm. Um, holy ham sandwich. I enjoy nothing except EFAP. Oh. Well, there's there's nothing other stuff in the EFAP. world. Hopefully you enjoy some other stuff. Yeah, I mean, we, we like that you like us. But you could like other things, too. There's a lot of joy in the world to be had. Don't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this just says a labor of hate. All right. Have you heard of this game called World of Horror? It's a horror RPG where you investigate five mysteries so you can fight an old god, and during the investigations you run into rando horror scenarios. Nope. Can't say I've I, heard of it. I have, yeah, I've not heard of it. Absolutely unfamiliar. Do not know. Um, I always watch the Moolah cut, which is a 1.5 times, and it's what I'm used to. One time sounds drunk and wasted, laugh my ass off. Just doing this to say that. I'll catch it later. Cheers, have fun, love you guys. The Moolah cut. Sound drunk when we're not sped up? Oh my... That is... Huh. Well, if we're drunk, then yes. Hmm. But that rarely happens. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. You do some more gothic phone streams, I guess. I mean, I'm up for one of them soon enough. There's so many other things to do. Yeah. Dude, we are keeping busy. I mean, this, what we're doing now, is proof of that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Funny how the only person in the show that said a black man can't be cap is Isaiah. Also, if the nurse faked his death, won't they still want his body? I can't remember what the justification was for that. Did she say, like, they gave in a fake one or something? I can't... That, that, she no. explained <laughs> it away, if, it, if at all, in a tiny, casual, throwaway line that definitely holds up. I would have thought that if you go into those lengths, you probably wouldn't want to be in America anymore, right? Probably. You might if they well find get out you, then you're going straight back, I assume. Mm -hmm. Might want to hide in, like... Well... Anywhere else, I guess? I guess anywhere else would be preferable, but I mean, like, Argentina or something? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, there, it's spooky. Wakanda! I remember there being problems with the story anyway. It's all fucking invented on top of everything else, because... That was the it's thing, like, inventing now. another Captain America that no one ever heard of that did missions, it's like, ugh, that's really frustrating, but it's like, I guess it's nothing compared to... The Egyptian and Greek gods have been here the whole time, by the way. And you're like, oh. Yeah. I you were going to Kang. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, yeah, nothing compared to Kang, that's for sure. Yeah. People don't understand how much Kang just fundamentally broke oh, everything. Loki. The whole, the whole show. Just, it's the most significant piece of MCU content, but you wouldn't know it based on how much people talk about it. Loki saw his whole life in a film. Of course, he's <laughs> now a good person. He's a off. changed man. Yeah. Um. Do better, EFAP. Isn't that end speech inspiring? I felt inspired. Embarrassing. To do Maybe something. I don't know what, do, but yeah. something to do. To do. To do better. Just to do better, Senator. <laughs> I believe they wrote that. I'm yeah, I know. Nobody, and, ever, and it went through multiple people, and then it was on set. And I guess, I don't know, people like. Nobody there was like. <laughs> you know, just laughed when the line came out. This thing. He delivered those lines, and he didn't think, you know, yeah. damn, this is, uh. Huh. <laughs> it's just like, what is this message? Do better? Like, thanks, bro. Remember how people were saying that it was, like, profound? That it was a really profound speech? Because, like, it's it's not even about what it's about. It's just, it's completely void of any substance whatsoever. Just do better. I mean, how could you ever raise your kid wrong? Or fail to run a country? Just do better. Yeah. Well, that's part of the problem with the scene. It's not even just him saying that. It's in response to them explaining how complicated this all is and how they're trying to yeah. make things better. 
there was a part where it's like you could redraw the borders like that, and it's like no, 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 you, can't. Like, no, you really can't. Yeah. You really, really, really can't. Well, and he says, doesn't he say like with a phone call you can get a million dollars to some or some shit? I don't know. Like, yeah. you know, can you? Like, I don't know. Well, just, it's just sim. it's such a. This is what I mean. It's perfect in a way. Cause it's like a child's view of how government works. How to fix the world? Yeah, like. You can change borders, you can print money, and then just have the money to do whatever you want. It's like, I... <laughs> Look, alright, if there's anybody to blame, it's your team for just snapping everybody back. Like, without doing anything to fix Absolutely, any of the problems yeah. that exist. Like, this is your fault. Well, it's not Falcon's fault, I guess, because he, he wasn't around when the team came up with the plan. But, I mean, yeah. Ugh. Um, I gave up. Bleh, I gave up on this show after two episodes. I have a question: What is you guys' favorite and least favorite war movies? Uh, my favorite is Saving Private Ryan. As is mine. You have a favorite Ryan? I don't. My favorite might be 1917. I thought you were gonna say that. Uh, it's a good choice. It's a fair choice. Yeah, we need more World War One stuff. Well, I mean, that's, As for uh, least favorite, favorite my least favorite world is it war movie? That I said least favorite war movie. Yeah. Yeah. Resident Evil: The Final Chapter, because there was supposed to be a big ass fucking war at the beginning, and they skipped that shit, and everyone disappeared, and I have been forever disappointed by that. Yeah, well, I, I still don't know what see I'd Ruby pick. Rose get shredded by a big propeller blade. That count for nothing. To be fair, to be fair, that movie was bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> really, that's an evil movie was bonkers. I think it was a little bit bonkers. I don't Probably disagree with bit. that. My least favorite war movie. I don't know. What about the Tomorrow War? Does that count? Because if it does, it that has might war be in the title. Bad. It's uh, certainly a contender for my least favorite well, would, war movie. Yeah, I would happily concede this. That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> It is one of the yeah. worst movies I've ever seen. I feel like... I, I love how that film disappeared as quickly as it came to... Everybody's talking about it now. It's like nobody talks about it. It's an movies. It's been recorded. <laughs> it isn't EFAP movies, I know. I had to watch it twice. Rags and I had to watch it twice for the, uh, the EFAP movie. We covered it. Well, and that led to hell. the creation of one of the funniest fucking things that's ever happened on our show, being Bill Mentor's commentary, so... Yes. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, give me a second. I used to put it on the right back. But yeah, I, uh... I don't really have many things in my head to think of for, like... Oh, for, like, worst war movies, yeah. Yeah, it's... There are war movies that I don't... Like, uh, the movie Fury. I kind of don't... I'm not super happy with that film. Um, I was fine like with it, but I don't, I, I don't recommend it. You well, know? I know that one of the uh, the chief complaints about that film is historical inaccuracy because there's there's this battle where it's like the three tank, there's four American tanks go up against a tiger, um, and like everything about it doesn't make any sense. They take out the uh, they take out the last tank in the convoy instead of the lead tank. The lead tank is the one they'd want to take out first because it actually has a um it has a cannon that is capable of penetrating the armor of a tiger as opposed to the other two that it attacks it tr charges towards them uh, instead of staying in its its stationary position where it would be much safer um it just doesn't shoot as fast as um as the as fury does so that's no reason at all. if i could just so that's interesting because when you when you open that with historical accuracy complaints i was preparing to say how does that well, compare no, with something like, hang on, hang on, I was preparing yeah, to say, like, how does that compare with something like The Patriot, with everything that we've discussed, but what you're describing, I would argue, isn't even about historical accuracy, it's just, uh, yeah, incompetence. Yeah, bad plotting. Yeah, because, um, the, I, these are things that exist in this world that have a utility, and nobody is behaving or using the tactics that they would. Um, and it's the, it's the reason why the good guys survive, basically. Ye well, uh, not, not forever, right? <laughs> not forever, but, um, and then also, like, that film is, um, I know that, because I've seen deleted scenes for that film. I think if they had kept the deleted scenes, that film would be better. Um, a lot of the deleted scenes actually 
give you more character stuff. And I guess there's just things that are less of a preference for me, like, um, I, uh, I tend to prefer sort of easing back on music in a lot of war films, um, not, not using, uh, not too much, like, score. Maybe, maybe that is a saving private, because saving private Ryan, so much of it is diegetic. Like, um, uh -huh. music choices are very limited. And then in 1917, they also, even though that has a pretty persistent soundtrack, it's a very unique soundtrack. Um, and when they need to pull it back, they also pull it back too. Oh man, the night window, the song for the, when, um, when he wakes up, uh, and he's in the, God, that was such an amazing sequence. I love it. It's so good. I really like that film. 1917 is cool. I already know anybody who didn't like it, right? Uh, YMS didn't like it that much, right? Did he give it a lower or higher rating? I can't remember. I think, he, I think he still gave it a positive rating, but I think the sentiment was he wasn't that impressed with it, like, technically and in terms of what it was doing narratively. Well, there you go. Uh, Where is my, uh, yeah, something I was just I thinking about was, mm -hmm. um... I guess it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work as well because the three of us... The three of us don't have this perspective, but you know when it comes to something like the Patriot and um, one of the biggest complaints is how evil the English are in that, um, which isn't at all representative. Had they been that evil, which that was just embedded in history, nobody would be making that argument, right? Presumably. People rarely yeah. say they made the Nazis look too evil. Right, and so therefore it isn't about it getting to cartoon levels or anything. Well, it, I, th like, I it, think it's, it's more so just it feels disrespectful, right? Yeah, I think there's a perspective. I think it's partly rooted in the, the the true fact that people will develop a perspective on history based on media that may well not be true. People just do that. Um, people won't necessarily watch documentaries or read books about history. A lot of people's opinions and perspectives on World War II are probably more so colored by the films they've watched than what they learned at school about World War II. Um, yeah, I, I mean, because because uh, a common one in uh, like we we in Australia we much more look at World War One than two because World War One was super important for Australia's national identity, Gallipoli and whatnot. And um, there is a common perception that is in part because of the film Gallipoli, which I really like that film. That like British officers were completely be like they were the, the, the British were like very much they just didn't care about Australians. They didn't care we were fodder and we got thrown in, and that's just not true. Like. That perception sort of came about, but I mean, British soldiers were absolutely in like pretty much the same position as Australian soldiers in World War One. Um, but but it's a perception that sort of exists because of a lot of uh, films, um, and a lot of people think that that's true. It's just I think um, it's the reason why if someone look at the Patriot and get like annoyed because there's probably some people who watch that film were like, wow, the British, wow, yeah. like and, and it's like it's just not it's just not what happened in reality. Um, I think I categorize and, and I get, that in the same way yeah. as I do for, um, you know, like, the, the, the comic book sort of respect the source stuff. It's like, it just becomes a moral argument to me, which isn't invalid, it's uh, just, um, it doesn't well, affect it's just not, the storytelling. I don't think it can, because if we do, then we have to start saying Inglorious Bastards is a bad film, and I think that's, like, no thanks. Um, yeah, that's usually think, the comparison, uh, right? Like, because... It, it's uh, yeah. Um, well, one of the ones I, I tend to like bring up is Hill House because of the fact that if we were there when he was scripting it all, and we were like, "Dude, you're using the, uh, the, the 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 title, the IP of something that has a fan base, and you're going to trick them entirely because it's not going to be about the book at all." Don't you think that's a little lame? And if he was just like, you know, if he was just completely honest and said, "I I want to tell my story." Well, yeah, like, I think uh, I think it's a conversation that's worth having about you know um, respect for history, respect for the source material. I just think it's a different discussion. It's important not to conflate them. Well, and I think um, people would listen to this and be like, "What the fuck? How can you compare respecting a source material like some fictional book compared to respecting history?" And uh, um, well, I yeah, I guess the thing is, is that. It do I guess all I would say to that is the reality is the further back you go, the more you're okay with it. I think the reason why World War II is very touchy is because it's like one of the most significant events in human history. It's quite recent. A lot of people who were alive, there are plenty of people who are alive today who experienced it. 
So there's like an element there of like, oh. Whereas if you if you were like doing, I don't know, the Battle of Hastings and you went super historically and accurate, I don't know that people would care as much about that. Um, it was, even uh, though the Battle see. of Hastings is also super significant in history. It was the, the Battle for Independence, right? Like is what would it be considered? Uh, uh, the Patriot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So War of Independence. If... Um... Well, because it's we already have a comparison. It's kind of funny that uh, Braveheart just doesn't have the same reputation, and yet it's no, it doesn't like almost as, if not worse, uh, historical inaccuracy than Patriot. I'm not even sure which one beats out the other. Um, yeah, because yeah, because I, I just there's just sort of this, like the luck of the draw, and I guess that's the only frustration that I end up getting is just like I just wanted to talk about it though from like a storytelling point of view. Well, yeah, I think. Um... I think it's just a matter of, uh, is there an expectation that we have that, um, that stories that are about historical offense ought to be historically accurate? It's like, I don't know, maybe? Um, I guess I would always express a preference for that, personally. Um, I like history and I like it. There's something that I find really, um, interesting about watching a film that I can sit there and really feel like, damn, I can imagine like the conversations played out this way and the events played out this way. There's something really cool about that um, yeah. and interesting. And I, it's just a personal preference I have, but at the same time, it's like, I really like Inglorious Bastards. I really enjoy that film. Um, and that's not even trying to be accurate to what happened. I mean, talking about favorite war movies, if that even counts, it would, it would be up there. That would be high up on the list, exactly. But it's, yeah, it's an interesting conversation to have, that's for sure. Yeah, how much I hope does... that answer question. <laughs> yeah, well, can writing be good and disrespectful? That's sure. a, that is a conversation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so, because it's just like, I don't think I categorize them quite the same. And yeah, yeah I, um... I definitely talk about being disrespectful, like... Well, it's, it's it's worth, I mean, especially right, Halo, you know, the adaptation argument still stands. Even as its own thing, it can totally be good, but, like, can't lie. It's, it's always going to annoy me when something that I like, that I think is really rich ground for adaptation, just gets squandered. That's a totally valid sort of reaction to have. It's just important not to conflate the two. Yeah. It's, it's just helpful that Halo is a terrible show and a bad adaptation. <laughs> Makes it nice and easy. Double whammy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm surprised you guys didn't mention that Waller had information on all the Justice League members, but decided to use mentally unstable criminals, only two of which have superpowers. Uh, <laughs> uh um, yeah. Do we know I... what information she had? Does she know their real identities, or does she just know their powers? Uh, I figure she would probably know their powers. I don't know about their real-world identities, right? Like, does she... Or di didn't she have a file? Did she have a file on, like, Flash and stuff? Or wasn't that the file? I can't remember what the file that? said. Um... Well, what, she gave it to uh, Bruce, right? And then Bruce was using it to, to find the Justice League, so she must have had some information on them. Well, no, yeah, that's the thing. I couldn't remember what information it is exactly. Uh, if right. it's information that is just... It just gives you a full rundown of them as where they exist and what they're doing, then, yeah, I guess um, you should have contacted them well before doing... Uh, Suicide Squad? Mm -hmm. um, well, I guess it's just a matter of with the Suicide Squad. Yeah, like, it didn't, at least didn't Bruce the Suicide... say, leave it to us or whatever? I think so. I can't remember. <laughs> I really can't. I can't remember if that was at the beginning or the end. Was that the end of Suicide I, Squad? I think it was at the end, because that was like your little stinger for, ah, he's the Justice League's getting together. Because yeah, I suppose... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I suppose that you could argue that, um... Walla wants people who are, will listen to every single thing she says, and she can just kill them at her whim. Right, which is not something she can really do with, like, Wonder Woman or Flash. No. I guess the thing is, is that the Suicide Squad as a squad has a much better composition in terms of this is a team that I can imagine having a lot of utility to use. Because, like, on... In the first film, it's like, who's really that useful? It's like, El Diablo... Deadshot's a really good shot, so I guess he's kind of worthwhile to keep around. Um, That's it, really. Killer Croc, maybe. Yeah, but, yeah. Hey, hey, Croc, hey, maybe, hey yeah. Harley Quinn has a baseball bat. She does have a baseball bat, that's true. That is and very she... awesome, and I love her as a character. She's so amazing. I love Harley Quinn. She's so amazing. Wow. 
lying. You're lying no, I, right now. You're lying. Oh, great. That's a I lie. know so much about her. Rags I know so much about you. her after three movies. Three. That is three movies. <laughs> yeah, it is three movies. God. I mean, you know, being genuine, all we've learned is that she's a, a girl that's been broken by her experiences with the Joker. That's about yeah. it. Being as good faith as possible. Like, okay. And she absolutely hates any damage coming to children. Yeah, and that's about it. The we know. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it, it could just be that you explain it away through Walla being kind of a crazy asshole. Um, mm -hmm. she... You just described Batman, by the way, when you were describing Harley Quinn. Someone who whose experience was changed... After the Joker, and they hate it when uh, well, kids to be fair, I said a girl who was broken by the Joker. <laughs> I don't really think... Ignoring the girl part, I don't even think that you'd say Batman was broken by the Joker. Yeah, I guess, if that's what you said. Uh, it was close. There's something there. Um... Balax Antioxidant Cocoa Fusion. If you like coconut flavor, is a good drink. Hi, Rags. Oh. And do you love Hello. Good Rat? I love Good Rat. Rats are great. I'm a big fan of Rat. Um, and then they rats said... Rats He mulls a plazies, mumbles very loudly. Your, your mauler plushie mumbles loudly? Uh-oh. It just mumbles in the night. Like, well, I mean, rat. he's got I opinions. Know. I don't know. We're just trying to the figure out. The force of life is... <laughs> Maybe he's checking out some movies he hasn't seen before on your shelf, and he's like, "Oh, yeah." Well, plot and summary sounds terrible. You see, you see the plush on a phone. <laughs> you need to keep your plush on a little stand in your room that is like it rests. It's like ashes on this stand, and they're the ashes of the enemies that you've killed. I know that reference because the film's really I good. Don't. You do. Oh, do, do I? Oh, yeah. What was the, the... Wait, what's the quote again? Not quote. Well, neither. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, what, what I... I thought you were talking about a quote I was referring to. This is from a video Mahler has done. <laughs> what's interesting is I refer to Mahler's video and not the thing that <laughs> the video well, is that, based around. Because for, I don't think... I think my video is the most attention that has gotten as a, as a piece of information because I think most people just would have ignored it. Say, yeah. uh, say it. But when you really think about it, it's like, wow, that is stupid. Uh, it's, the, it's the ashes of his enemies ringing the ILO. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you write that? Oh my god, it's so edgy. He's a bad it sounded guy. cool, okay? It's so edgy. It what an cool. Yeah, I guess it did. It might be in the stormtroopers whose job it was to go out there and find all the people Kylo killed, bring them back, and then incinerate them, and then <laughs> empty them into the bin where he <laughs> leaves his helmet. Yeah, imagine being that guy. It's like the all fuck of that were had you? to happen what? to get a thing of ashes for all the people you killed. And you can picture you Snoke being weekend? like, "Wait, why?" And he's like, <laughs> "Uh, I think it intimidates my victims." It's like, like okay. I don't think it intimidates your victims. Victims are dead. You know. Well, the the Nobody's new one. Nobody's gonna see this. Oh, you'd have, you'd have well, to tell people like Ray see it, right? And that, that's, that's what I bring up. Oh, I was yeah, like, well, sure. what's the point if you don't even tell her? And I'm pretty sure she'd find it funny. Like, it's absurd. <laughs> I probably yeah. would, undoubtedly. If I was in her place, I'd be like, really? <laughs> is that... Is that... Are you being serious? These are the ashes like, of my enemies. And you're like, what are you... Oh my what? <laughs> what are the... Like, what? all of them? Or do you have to change them? <laughs> Why do you put your helmet in there? That's gross. <laughs> yeah. That is kind of gross. Also, that explains why it's so goddamn dry in here. You don't want moist ashes. Uh, kind of matches Kylo Ren in a way, though, doesn't it? It does. Impotent. Just this poorly thought out, it poorly conceived, edgy character. Um, 
First time catching a live show. Got hooked a few months ago and I am attempting to catch up. I'm currently on episode 52. I adore the show and all of you lovely massives. I dream of being on EFAP one day. Hi, Rags. Oh, hello. I'm sure you all have catched up on, uh, catched up. Fuck me. I'm sure you all have caught up on, uh, the whole show in the, uh, in the time between that message and now. Maybe. That's oh yeah, maybe. Uh, it's interesting to think about, you know, I wonder if they're still a fan. I wonder if they're watching all the episodes or if maybe they have moved on in the world because, yeah. you know, there's only so much EFAP one can take before they explode in a positive way. Oh, I, I was about to say. I wouldn't want that to be interpreted negatively, one exploding. Um, but yeah, good to hear. Kali is not a terrorist. Just because they have a sad backstory does not excuse their actions. By that logic, then, Zemo's not a terrorist. I'm not interested in fucking that stupid part of the show where it's like... That word shouldn't... It, well, isn't it like Falcon who's like, stop calling her that, it's not true, when it's, it's like, totally it's fucking true? It's insane, it's, it's so insane. Definition. You were using violence to advance a political goal. But you it's couldn't be more of a terrorist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I'm... Mm. Like, th these words exist in order to categorize you correctly, but also to let everyone know what we're dealing with quickly, which is exactly what you are. If you didn't want that label, you probably should have avoided committing to those actions. Blowing up people who you tied up because it's the only thing they understand. People you've already successfully robbed. Remember that? She did that. And if I remember correctly, uh, part of it, at least from Falcon's POV, is to do with the fact that, um... It's like, it's a way of like not listening to her or whatever. It's like, we can't be using that word because it'll just be like, you're ignoring the fact that there's a girl there who like has blah blah blah. And just like, can you say this no, for like it just every word that precedent. categorizes the kind of crime you're committing? Or should we just not call anybody anything? Should yeah. I not call someone a superhero in case it means that we ignore their, uh, <laughs> a plight or something, I don't know, like, oh, You're not caused to something because you make the choice to ignore important information. Like, I don't know, that sounds more like a you problem than anything. Insane, man, like, you know, if someone said a fucking psychopathic supervillain robot is trying to destroy the world, you'd be like, hey, Ultron has, you know, a motivation, and you need to hear it out. He's got feelings. I'm sure he does have a motivation, I don't care. <laughs> it's... Uh, that's great, uh... Brown table said that? Sexual harassment. I don't know what they're referring to. Except sexual harassment, of course, we did say that. No way, there's too much substance in the tweet. Oh, this could be um, when we were looking at the, um, it was either the tweet or the correction tweet, because um, it was like something really harsh Brown table said, but then uh, it was, I think I said like, there's still a chance this is fake, and then he actually put out a tweet saying it was fake. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Um, BT said pretentious racist. Get back here, Mola. BT? Oh, brown table. BT. Brown table. Sorry, I thought you were talking about BT from Titanfall 2. Titanfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we're never getting to Titanfall 3. <laughs> nope. It's uh, up to, apparently it's up to Respawn. EA is well, yeah, pretty I much... Think, uh, yeah, they're Respawn pretty much. has a, a high level of autonomy within EA by the sounds of it. Um, this is, it's something I've learned, because I was reading, I've been re-watching a bunch of the old Destiny Vidox and stuff. Apparently within, because PlayStation or Sony acquired uh, Bungie, but Bungie is still like basically independent. They're a subsidiary, but they get a lot of autonomy in terms of what they do as a company. And all of their stuff is still multi-platform going forward. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a little more complicated than that sometimes with studio structures and, and whatnot. Because um, people forget, like, a lot of these studios have their own board. They have a CEO, like a C, um, COO. They've, they've got, like, an internal management structure that will be able to make decisions. Um, it's the same with, like, Bioware, right? Bioware got given five years of pre-production on Anthem, and then EA were like, right, so what do you got for us after five years of money? And there was uh, just... Not a lot, and it's shit. Yeah. So, and that's, uh, that's what I mean. It's like, you know, to be sympathetic towards the position of EA, but like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, if I give you millions of dollars... Bioware managed to do the impossible. They made me feel sympathy for electronic arts. Yeah. 
Um, so this is stop daring, stop tearing down video essays just because they worked hard on it, then stop tearing down bad movies because the same reason. Double standard, exactly. shake my head. Exactly. You you yeah. just you can't you can't be on the internet making videos criticizing films that have worked on by hundreds of people over the course of years. Like a pure, just creative expression. I mean, of course, with like monetary goals, but like it's creative expression. And then get upset when you get criticized for what you've made. You gotta be, you gotta be able to take it. I mean, but, and also it's just, it's the internet. Like, I don't know, like you're always gonna get criticism. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, even if it were invalid, unethical, and unreasonable, and even bannable, you'd still have it happening. Mm hmm. So it would just be general good advice in any case. Like, be prepared. Yeah. Take it on the chin. Just keep working. Keep keep at it. Keep uh, trying to get better at your craft. Marvel's writing has gotten so bass backwards that they make the heroes villainous and the villains more complex and interesting. Boss backwards. Uh, <laughs> well, Walker and Zemo came out looking the best uh, in that show, but look at the others, like. We'll see with Moon Knight and yeah. Evil Cult Leader Man. Um, I have a feeling that we're getting your standard. I worship Amit because Amit will make a better world, and Amit's just gonna kill everyone. It's like, yeah, Probably. okay. And then Moon Knight has to save the day. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, Kang. He was terrible. Like one uh, of the worst. Ag <laughs> Agatha was horrendously weak. bad. Yeah. She's not even the villain. Like really. No. What did she do? I get the all along. She didn't do anything. Wanda created the hex. Like what? The... God, that. Uh. Yeah. So, what else is there? Um, I guess No Way Home, uh, but. With No Way Home is like. But the heroes the and villains anomaly. are both, you know, so. It's just No Way Home really is an anomaly. Well, I guess Shang Chi, right? Like Shang Chi is a hero. He's not like. He, he is a good guy, he's just not a very interesting good guy. And his dad is a bad guy, but he's not a particularly interesting bad guy. So like, in a certain sense, Shang-Chi kind of uh, is doing alright, <laughs> compared to everything else, you know? Yeah, I don't think the pattern is quite as strong enough to no. make the claim, but, um, you know... Yeah, in uh, some of the stuff for sure, yeah, where some, it's like... Some references. Like, you just got it backwards, you forgot who the good guys and the bad guys are, remember? Cap said, if they're shooting at you, they're bad, alright? Like, it's not that hard to figure out who the good guys and the bad guys should be. Um. Oh, Jay Longbone, please break wind loudly on stream. This guy again. Apparently. Uh, apparently this thing that he wants, that's a bit weird, but uh, alright. I mean, he know the guy knows what he wants, I guess. Between Ryan and Zach, I'd take Ryan because at least he'd give my great BB... Oh, Breaking Bad episodes, even if he didn't write it. What about you, guy? We've had that question a couple of times. Uh, or JJ throwing in as well, but it's just like... Oh, right. Give them your... If we make it even more of a... Th like, like, your personally written script, and one of those two gets full control over adapting it into a movie, who are you picking? So the choice, uh, JJ, Zack Snyder, uh, or Ryan Johnson? Uh, I probably Ryan's probably gonna make uh, me more money. No, JJ is probably gonna make you more money. No, no oh, JJ. I thought you meant Zack Snyder. I thought. You... Oh, <laughs> JJ's not. It's just between those two. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan Johnson will make me more. I yeah, you know what? I think I go for Ryan Johnson. Maybe there'll be something that's interesting that comes out of it. Yeah, maybe it maybe it will be interesting. Maybe it will actually work out. Like, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I have more hope for Ryan's work than Zach's, is what you're saying, yeah? Yeah, I it's think I actually do, yeah. yeah. I think I think at the very least it would be a more interesting film, even if I really didn't like it. I think I, I made it for the same. Um, I, I, it's just my, it's certainly a gut feeling of, like, don't go near Snyder. Weird things happen. Mm. Really weird things. Muller, I'm in Wales right now for work. It's Sunday and all the pubs are closed. What? Why? Don't you guys like money? 
Lol Cardiff, lovely place. It's chill with a few hot biddies too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but uh, so Sunday and all the pubs are closed. I wonder if that was because of that, this. We would be in COVID times at this was point. Was that public? What, oh yeah, this would have been like April, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably it. Um. Hate it when they treat the shield as if it's what makes you cap, and notice how they changed the end title from Falcon to Cap, but Bucky's still Winter Soldier. Yep. Yeah, that, that was, was stupid. I don't know why they, they didn't... They said they, they didn't think people would understand. <laughs> like, it's, it doesn't it betray the whole thing that they're both adopting new mantles and moving into a new status in the world, but like yeah, the but Winter Soldier... Yeah, what do people Soldier don't understand, too... Fring? But I... I... Uh... I mean, we've heard him called the White Wolf in, like, multiple things at this point. I mean, that's what T'Challa called him. He called himself that in the show. He's not the Winter Soldier anymore. He's got the codes out of his head. It makes narrative sense to call him the White Wolf. Which was done in just, like, a flashback scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> the acting was great. Over all the, the acting was great. The acting's been pretty consistently great Marvel stuff lately. It's a shame that the material... Um, I'm not even a movie or writing fan. I watch EFAB because I love the way you guys analyze things with logic and objectivity. Something which is very rare for any topic these days. Hey. Just trying to mm. remove them biases. I Seems like conversations can get very stream... I, I, I catch myself saying streamlined because ours end up being longer than like anyone else's, but I suppose that is still <laughs> streamlined. In a sense, because there's not really confusion as to what it's a common vocabulary, really. That's that's like the whole thing. We know we know what everybody is trying to say because we have the same sort of underlying uh, metrics. Yeah. Um. Happy weekend, long men. Thoughts on the recent Mortal Kombat movie, the originals, and just general thoughts on bad video game movies, or if they could have worked. I suppose it's kind of funny to answer now, a year later. We now, you now know what we think about both of those films. Yeah, I suppose, um, wait, did that happen within the last year? I thought it was older than that, to be honest with you. Um, I think Mortal Kombat, the, the new Mortal Kombat came out last year, like in April or something. So this probably would have been after this question was asked. Well, um... I mean, I'll, I'll give a quick thing, and then if you guys want to add anything, um, just the originals, Flash original, because we watched that first one, uh, pretty cringe, but enjoyable. Super yeah. campy, but uh, clunky, but I don't know, there's some funny as fuck stuff in it. Mm. And uh, some With, things um, you can understand and respect, I suppose. The what, new what movie, sorry? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. The yeah. new one was like much more traditionally consumable as a movie and looks way better because obviously it does uh, in terms of special effects uh, but still baffling choices for story and character though I feel like Kano alone in the new one was enough to carry me through liking yeah. it more than the original I think I like it more than the original I think so too there um. is, yeah, I think so too. The first one, in a way, the second is more. It's weird because the second is almost so. It's almost more disappointing because you expect that it tries to do more and it was given, you know, a lot of. Clearly, a lot of attention. I think they and were still a little too afraid to, uh, to fully embrace the games. That's why we have this new character that gets added in instead of just having it be Johnny Cage. Um, and then this weird, like, power thing that they establish instead of just having it fully, like, immersed in the Mortal Kombat world as we know it, you know? But maybe the second one will be more like that, because I got such good feedback on I... the times when they really get into the games more. I feel like that used to be a thing, where you'd be like, they will create this first one again, but correct mistakes, right? And it's like, why would we expect that instead of it just being strictly worse than the first one? Right. Like, I yeah. don't know, because that's that. Why would they wouldn't do that, would they? You like, hmm. to get feedback and take it on board and try to implement it, I guess. That's just a reasonable expectation. That so we funny, have. like, you know, if you come in there, you should be like, few quick decisions, get rid of main character, man, he sucks. 
focus, it, fucking wig, bring him back, Kano. I don't care how you do it. He's coming back. I um, back, yeah. Have him interact with Johnny Cage. As if Johnny it matters. Cage. Goro also didn't die. You simply killed no. a fucking weird demon that wasn't Goro. Um, make yeah. the new Goro beat the fuck out of everybody and don't even kill him in this movie. Kill him in the next one. Um, yeah. yeah, just just simple stuff, man. <laughs> like, and then just work on dialogue that's entertaining and engaging, and have a very simple plot that ties it all together. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Because some of the action in that was badass. Yeah, like when uh, when Kano ripped out Reptile's heart, that was cool. <laughs> I think what we saw really that was front... like, oh, we might actually have some fun here. Just and just really and... front-loaded his competence there. Oh, well, right. pretty much, yeah. Um, but uh, still I mean, funny when lines. Scorpion Zero, that was yeah. cool. Like, except yeah. when the uh, the protagonist man got involved, it's like, no! No, yeah, he kept, like, kept ruining it. <laughs> I just want Scorpion to sub zero, that's it. I mean, I, oh, such baffling decisions for game fans who are clearly, like, you're appealing to game fans. Just give them what they want, which is a full fight between yeah. Scorpion and Sub Zero, then a fatality they're familiar with. That's easy. Yeah. Why and would like, you want you generic want man there you know, doing generic and things? If Anybody there? Have it been like Johnny Cage, somebody who's like an interesting POV, you know? Yeah. I, you should have just had Johnny Cage. That would have been way better if he was our protagonist. Well, you, and you give him like a personal beef with someone, and Johnny Cage's got to fight that person, and Sub Zero's yeah. defending him. Scorpion's like, let me take him. You know that sort of scenario. And then you got two boss yeah. fights at once: one for the game fans, one for the story. And I mean, you know, if you're gonna have, like, Melina in there, why the hell wouldn't she have Katana be in there and fight Melina? Why would you have it be Sonya? Put Sonya up, like, I don't get it. Like, Sonya against Kane, Kano, that that makes sense as a pairing. Um, why would you have Katana in there? They had Cabal in there as well, and he's, like, really fucking cool, and he just gets sort of killed, and you're like, oh. He gets killed, yeah, and it's like, I guess we're not gonna see him in the next film, that sucks. Oh, it's such a strange way of doing it all. Um... Mm. Because they, 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 they got it with some stuff, fucked it up with other stuff. That's just how it was. Yeah. Um, well, so yeah, that covers... Who knows? That. <laughs> yeah. I, that's just why, why you were wrapping up that. I just noticed this. Yeah, he's been arrested again. So, like, that's probably it oh, for yeah. him, right? Like, he's out? Ezra Miller? I, I don't know what we're going to find well, out eventually as a result of all this, but... How well, the fuck do you get arrested again, dude? Especially yeah, when the first one was so hard profile. It's so easy. Imagine being his agent right now. Oh yeah, like you are... Ezra, I specifically yeah. told you <laughs> not to hit random Hawaiians. What are you doing? Ezra, remember well, when I, I got I you know. out of prison and now you're back in? <laughs> or jail, whatever. Ezra, you promised you wouldn't punch more Hawaiians and here we are. You punched another Hawaiian. This is gonna be super old by the time we get hit. This this goes out, but yeah. Probably, yeah. There we go. What we just, we just dated like, this recording, so. He punched the guy. Because in my head, he just punched a random person for no reason. He punched the guy, and then he turned around and he just started running. That goofy, really slow run from Justice League. But he's just running at normal speed for everyone else. In fact, slower than normal. But he doesn't oh, know yet. And he goes. Whoa. And then the police just walk up and cuff him. Like, how'd you catch me? I'm the Flash. He's very drunk in this scenario, then. He's very... No, totally, totally lucid. This is just how he is. He's just delusional. He thinks that he is the Flash. All the Snyderverse people kept sending him emails and telling him that he was the, the Flash, and so it got to his head, and then he snapped. Now he just thinks he's a really shitty Flash, who can't punch someone and get away with it. Because hmm. he's too slow. Well... Um, I guess the third part of that question was, what's on video game adaptation movies, and if they can work? Um, sure they can work. Of course they can. Especially when you have... You, when you're ad adapting video games that have very good stories and good characters. But yeah, there's there's no reason just, why they're exactly the same be. as a dungeon box. I mean, it's I mean, the same difference broadly. Um, well, that I was oh, going to bring up as a if we got a sliding scale here of um, faithfulness and quality of writing, it can just go all over the place. Like literally, pick a part on that board and it can go there. It doesn't really 
There's no reason why. Like, if Bioshock 1 got turned into a season of TV, if someone said, like, it can't work, Bioshock was built as a game, it's like, bullshit, that can work. Yeah, there's a lot of events that, yeah, Bioshock would make a very good season of TV. Just need someone who's, like... Because this is the thing, if, if, if that were made, or whatever they're fucking planning to do with it, it's made and it's poorly written. It's not like that's evidence of video game adaptions just don't work. It's just like, well, no, it's just poorly written. At this point, you can make the same conclusion by being like, I guess Star Wars sequels just don't work. Like, what do you mean? Like, we've had so many bad ones. Like, yeah, but we had one good one, so... <laughs> I saw someone say that the other day, by the way. Uh, they were like, uh, to be fair, EFAP are pretty, like, uh, hypocritical when it comes to a lot of things. And someone said that how, and they said, um... Uh, apparently, Return of the Jedi is a great movie. I was like, I don't think we've uh, ever said that. <laughs> I think you've said Return it's like Jedi, decent. But I don't think it's a great film. I mean, there's we... great parts. The third act is great. Uh, like, well, the, the, parts of it. Parts of it, yeah, sorry. Like, not the end or shit. <laughs> so, and the first act is real wonky. I'm saying, like, I, I just don't remember it, and, and I'm pretty sure the last reference I remember to it before I saw that comment was Rag saying, um, they're, they're two great Star Wars movies, um, and I think, <laughs> was it, was it you, Rags, or someone else said the last time, can, can you imagine, the last time someone came out of the theater thinking that was an amazing Star Wars film? That was two days ago, I think, wasn't yeah, it? Was yeah, yeah. yeah, that was me a couple days ago. It was 1980. The last, yeah, the last yeah. time people walked out of a theater after watching a great Star Wars film was in 1980. Which, uh... <laughs> Check the dates, everyone. Rags is saying something there. Which I don't disagree with, and I don't think many people do disagree with, honestly. Um, yeah, I think I think it's the general perception is, but that's a, it's a film that I enjoy a lot, which is, I really enjoy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy Return of the Jedi. I love I, Battle it's, Vader. Right, yeah. It solidified Luke and Vader as like iconic, iconic. and respected characters yeah. forever. And that's worth something. Yeah, that film at, brought at them home. Yeah. Empire, it, it Empire set them all up, like, really well, but, you know, still. Yeah. And, of course, A New Hope is a really strong standalone story. Um, I mean, it can be taken as a standalone story. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's part of a trilogy. I guess what it says, it's a really strong, cohesive whole. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, we think they can definitely work, it's just that we have very few examples. Arcane probably mm -hmm. being top of the, the leaderboard now. Arcane is top of the leaderboard, and I don't really know what would be its competition uh, at the moment. I don't even know what would, no yeah, what would number two be. Like, By the way, yeah, I, I, there were so many things that didn't make it into that media medley for Arcane, it was kind of weird that just people kept sharing like these smaller takes, and one of the ones I saw that I was going to include, but I was just like, oh, fuck it. It's just so bad as an argument, but whatever. It was um, frustration that Vi would have been angry at Powder at the end of episode three when Powder Come obviously on. didn't mean to kill anyone. Come on. Come on. That takes care of that. I just like... Come on. Don't get it sometimes. <laughs> like, She's you a Have you never been you angry at someone for doing something incident. when they did yeah. not mean to do the thing? Yes, because if they don't mean to do it, that means you're not upset anymore. <laughs> like, that's how human beings operate. I, I you know, it had she not been taken by Marcus, I, I could believe that she would have carried on her life with Powder, but you would think Probably. about that forever. It would never go oh, away. Of course. Of course. She's never going away for either of them. That's kind of the, um, that's like the truth of the show that it acknowledges, and it's part of the reason why that show is so great. It doesn't shy away from that. Yeah, you can't go back to the way you things You can't were. undo this. This event has changed you, whether you want it to or not. I'm gonna have no problem rewatching that season up to when season two comes out. I'm, I'd like to rewatch it. Yeah. Um. Tears for the delicious disnoid tears this EFAP will cause. I mean, it wasn't very controversial, was it? I think even chat were very on board with uh, tearing it down because they weren't happy with it. We had a little pushback with Moon Knight, um, but I don't oh. know how long that'll last. Give it a couple oh. more episodes. <laughs> Specifically three, but it has a horrible ending. Yeah. And yeah, uh, but, you know, uh, 
No Way Home was way more controversial than, um, like, Falcon the Winter Soldier was in terms of our coverage. Mm -hmm. I stand by what we said. As do I. I feel like we ripped into more of No Way Home than most people would have. I described Falcon the Winter Soldier to a friend in two words. Racial diarrhea. Also high rags. Racial diarrhea. Hello. Yeah, it does a lot of weird shit with racism in that in that show. Um, like people not recognizing Falcon and thus they're like, a black man. We must arrest him. Uh, the heavy handed. We are police. We see black. We arrest. Eat chip. Check bay phone. You guys know Cap 4 is going to have the Falcon and Winter Soldier showrunner writing it, right? Can't wait to go sailing yeah. for that dumpster fire. <sighs> mm -hmm. That was a fun noise. Great. I love how they forced Sam and Bucky to be poor, even though they have no reason to be, especially with Far From Home. Especially with Far From Home? Um... They're talking about the fact that Fury is a part of a huge organization that involves all of the heroes, so... Well, it's just, there's no way that Tony didn't set up a fund. Or if the, if he didn't, the Pepper wouldn't oh. also set it up. Maybe they're referring to Tony having set things in place for oh. Peter, and therefore he must have for everyone else. Surely. Yeah? What's wrong with me, man? Like, it, it shits on Tony as a character, for sure. Yeah. Very frustrating. Um, also, Bucky shouldn't have been the new Cap. Bucky, I'm much more happy with Bucky being Bucky it than Falcon. Out? I've said this before, and I'll keep Bucky I saying it. I don't mind either way. Um, I guess it's more just a matter of, like, Falcon, he just, he doesn't have the super soldier serum, which means that there are some limitations to, like, what he can do. Um, I think it and suits I don't know that, like, way better that Falcon is Falcon. He's earned his position as Falcon. Falcon is his identity. Why does he need to take on Captain America? Meanwhile, Bucky is known as the Winter Soldier, which is something he yeah, fucking hates. Yeah, his identity is something he needs to shed, whereas there's nothing to be, like, there's not nothing to be ashamed of as being Falcon. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of odd overall. Like, become Captain America. It's like, no, nah, I'm alright. I'm I'm Falcon. Falcon's a well-known superhero who helps the fuck out of people. I, I don't know why. I don't it's know. It's like Captain Marvel. Should you learn. become Captain America? It's like, no. I maybe it is just a matter of because in the comics Falcon does become Captain America. So I'm just like, oh, well, I guess that's what we do. But then again, Bucky has too. So, and also it's an adaptation. So. You can do whatever you want. I mean, ultimately, I I'm, I'm now settling for fine, make it Walker. <laughs> He's like the most suitable. Oh, well. I mean, Walker dropped the shield that he made to save uh, the people. If that isn't like earning, you know, what it means to be Captain America. Walker is the best, like, storyline out of everybody in that oh, whole fucking show, easily, except maybe yeah. Zemo. Yeah, I guess if you got Zemo. Yeah, but in terms of. Dude, Zemo, well, Zemo wipes out all of the Super here, Soldier right? cunts, yeah. and he um, he kills the guy who's making the serums. Zemo's a Chad yeah. in this season. <laughs> I'm very glad it's that really worked out that way. Fun. But he will be back for another appearance at some point, and we're all going to be on the edge of our seats again. Yeah. For all the wrong reasons. It's, that's the world we live in. Like, oh god, oh no, oh god, oh no, we're seeing him again. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. Um, is there any way I can ask any of you guys questions outside of Super Chats? Sometimes I have too many thoughts to get down in so many words. I can't afford longer Super Chats, but they've been the only messages I ask that go noticed. I'm afraid that, um, if we had a system for that and we reliably answered it, then we wouldn't even be able to finish them, let alone Super... Let, let's just... This, this is the best balancing that we have. Yeah, it wouldn't be part of the Super Chatters. Yeah, or... it's really either Super Chats or if you say something during a stream that is interesting or... That it catches attention. our attention, yeah. Yeah. Um, we do read chat, so... We, we definitely do. Yeah, and... It's just... Rolls on by. That's the problem when you've got this many people looking to say stuff. Uh, it's just... Very few ways to... Make it so that you can answer everybody. Yeah, without just eating up all your time. Yeah. Hello, Massives. Hi, Rags. Hello. 
Recently went on an OG Sargon stream binge, including D&D Crusaders, which is great, but I still can't find the stream where I first heard you mention EFAP. I can't remember a stream where I first mentioned EFAP. I don't. I have it no idea which one it was. One of the EFAP episodes, probably because it wasn't called EFAP for the first four, right? Like uh, what I'm saying is like I don't. It wasn't a like a designed thing that was launching before it launched, you know. Happened. Sort of, yeah, yeah, kind of. It sort of did. I guess I'm just a little confused as to what this person is really asking for. Um, if you're asking me the first time I mentioned the stream. I have no clue when the first time was that I mentioned the stream. I just don't have that. That'd be memory. a strange thing for them to want to find, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a strange thing, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Maybe looking for the origin of it. I'm, I'm not sure. I just, I just don't know. Happened um, a long time ago. Anyways, have an epic and celestial day. Why? Thank you. Bye, Ballista. Bone chili. Wakanda claimed jurisdiction for wherever they are. Sam just wanted to be Captain America. Ryan can just take the bat suit. Like, black people can't just do whatever they want. Hey. That's... Uh, that, 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 they do it with plenty of virtuous white women, too, okay? It's not just... It's, it's plenty of... And there's probably some goofy-ass bad writing that reflects it on other characters. You just... You don't want to find patterns like that, that's going to lead you down very bad pathways. Mm -hmm. It's more so very incompetent writing. The, uh, um, writing, yeah. Because they, like, do the whole Yas Queen thing with, with the Dora Milaje so hard, they have no idea what's actually happening what is <laughs> the thing they're critical of, yeah. Them yep. taking the shield, he does it with Bucky, so they're both just as fucking guilty on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and um and it's it's nuts they're taking it from they they have to break his arm and beat him the fuck up in order to take this thing that why are they taking uh, it what people say is to prevent him from killing more terrorists or something <laughs> oh no <laughs> I, I don't understand Can't it. i it's yeah it's absolute fucking garbage as for then um it was it batwoman taking the, yeah ryan taking the bat suit uh what's her name kate kane took the suit i took it first yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all just terrible fucking writing, dude. Like, is it? we have to live with it because they have no idea what they're doing. Uh, J Bone, will you be my first black? Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be super moved by that as a as an opening. Rags, will you be my first doggo? I will be your first doggo. We'll nice. go on so many adventures together. How long? This was a year ago. Yeah. Oh dang! It expired. <laughs> oh, that's, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, your oh. ticket only lasts for one year, so... Yeah, what a shame. So close. Uh, haven't watched and don't care about Falcon the Winter Soldier sounds bad, but that's no excuse to miss an EFAP episode, nor an opportunity to tell you Dumbos to play DDLC. Uh, that's, the, that's the spirit. Um, hello, old. Maybe. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I haven't seen Falcon the Winter Soldier, so I'll watch the stream later, maybe. Just dropping in for a quick Mola, you're gay. <gasps> Thank you very much. Nice. At least friendly ginger protester died at the end. Friendly, friendly ginger, ginger protester? There's nothing friendly protester. about it. <laughs> but, but again, maybe. She got put on like a hospital thing. Oh, God. Uh, 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 still okay. God damn it. You turned up in uh, Green Knight. Remember? Yeah, she did. That's right. That mm. lady in that house that was just in the middle of the forest. Headless lady, that yeah. That lady in the house in the middle of the forest where things happen? You know, my, <laughs> my sister made me aware that there is a TV show um, out. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called, like, The Lady in the House Across from the Lady in the Window or some shit like that on Netflix. Is it, okay. like, an anime? I think it's like the... No, it's... it's Realtisms. It's, it's about a woman who Real drinks business. wine excessively in her house and looks out a window and spots a murder. Kind of like the rear window or um, Disturbia. Which is the movie with uh, the original one with like Jimmy Stewart. 
Uh, Where he's like in a wheelchair and he sees a murder happen. Oh, I, 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 oh, that's the, oh no, some sinister looking kid. I know, I knew, I knew you'd think of the Simpsons <laughs> reference. Yeah, of course, because I haven't seen that movie. I can't remember what that, <laughs> that was called. <laughs> the sinister looking kid, yeah, but I, I think you could call that as part of that genre. I don't know if either of you saw Disturbia, but that, that was, um, Sheila Booth commits a crime, and I... under house arrest, and then he sees his neighbor do something super suspicious and spends the whole film trying to figure out if it was a murder. You know what, I'm not going to spoil what, what it turned out to be, because maybe you'll watch that film at some point. But yeah, it's kind of a, almost a genre, I don't know. But um, yeah, that I one's know. called like The Lady in the Window Across from the Street from Another Lady in a House or some that stupid shit. interesting <laughs> name for a show. Shia LaBeouf just sort of went crazy and went away, didn't he? I think he's still getting roles, isn't he? I don't know. I think he is, but I, I couldn't I thought... tell you in what. Yeah, I had no clue. No idea. Check the IMDB. See if he's still, um... Saying he will not divide us in assorted places in America. Have you seen the Internet yeah. Story video on that? He goes over, like, all of I the have, different locations yeah, yeah. and how he was found. It's fucking amazing. I prefer my headcanon to whatever IMDB could tell me. I want Shia LaBeouf to star in iRobot 2. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf can be the new Alice in the next Resident Evil series. Yeah. Sure. Um. Falcon the Winter Soldier is just Spider Verse, but worse. I. Where? Falcon where is in the, the Winter Soldier is. The comparison between those it's, two. Wait, he's saying Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the Spider Verse, but worse. I'm not sure where that comes from. I'm legitimately confused. I, I feel like there's just nothing I can say because I just have no idea how you connected those yeah. two. Yeah. That's all I got. Uh, yeah, I got nothing for you. Yeah, I'm I'm at a loss. Hello, Maltisms and crew. Been reminiscing on all the shows I loved and came to a crossroads when it came to Band of Brothers and the Sp and the Pacific. Off the top of your heads, which do you think is better objectively? I've only seen Band of Brothers, so. Uh, I don't know. I would. I, I think I'd like to rewatch both of them. I've yeah. seen neither, though. Didn't Band say. of Brothers has like one of the best reputations for a TV show out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of famous people in it. Oh yeah, like Hitler. I don't think he would. Who isn't in it? Oh, okay. Not even a cameo. Uh. Angry Joe, episode 2, 1321. Um, oh, I guess his review of Falcon the Winter Soldier, episode 2. On the cop pulling a gun on Falcon. And I'm like, this happens. This happens all the time, and it's really cool to see it in Marvel now. So the problem is that, like, Falcon is too famous for this to happen. Um, it just, it just doesn't feel very well justified. It feels... Well, oh, especially given what was happening, because I was just walking across the road. <laughs> yeah, he was basically just... I, it's like, oh, he was just being there. Yeah, I think there, there's just... I think there's way better ways of doing... If you're trying to make that point. Um, I think so. And, and ways that can just come across much smoother to people who find it, like, that you're trying to paint a picture as opposed to show an event. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a super touchy subject. It's just that when you see it, you're just like, oh. Especially because of the components. I think it it's just holds ground because you can kind of see, like, the, the intentions rather than an organic string of events. Not to say that what they presented is, like, impossible as a scenario. It's just you could have... You definitely could have done a better job of, conv of, uh, of arriving at the scene that you wanted. I think so, yeah. Demo and John are great, yet the show wants you to hate them and expects you to like Ginger and Sam. This series completely fails with the main characters. I can agree with that, though. I would be interested to think about what do you think the show wants us to think about Zemo? I'm not. I don't think it wants us to hate him. I think it wants us to yeah, think that think Walker that redeemed himself to some degree when I don't think he really did much of anything wrong. Um, yeah, he. What he did was just. Of course, what he was going to do based on what his character actually was when they yeah. would see it as, oh, see, we're redeeming him. It's like, no, he had nothing to redeem he was, him so um, He was, he was rough, 
but I don't know that his actions should result in anything like the punishments that he gets. I don't think it makes sense. Um, especially in this universe where we've seen all of the Avengers just enact anything they want to do all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, when he does it to someone who's just st extremely fucking dangerous and has just executed his partner, like, I just don't... It just didn't, didn't work for me. Um, so I'd say that their intentions are a little skewed there. They definitely wanted us to feel some pity for, for Carly. I didn't feel anything at all. I thought she was a horrible person. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I'm glad she's um, fucking dead. I hope she's dead. Then there's Sam, who, yeah, just kind of coasted through the, the season, getting to be the best guy ever without really making many smart decisions. Um, not very happy with him in it. And in fact, <laughs> say that as if we haven't what? decided he was fucking assassinated, so... Yeah, well, yeah, he was he was absolutely yeah. squandered because Sam was in an okay place. Like he just didn't have much. Uh, there wasn't much exploration of him in the prior films. But but it's like there was nothing really wrong with him. He was he was ripe for telling a story about, and I feel like they definitely squandered that character. Yeah, and then there's Zemo, who it doesn't. We were so quite... nervous the whole time, but he comes we out were, okay. Oh. We were so well, yeah, and it doesn't much. quite feel like him blowing up the rest of the super soldiers when they are caught, by the way, and, like, neutralized in a sense. It doesn't feel like the show was like, God, don't you hate Zemo right now? Not really. I think it's it was not, like, not wow, look at how confident he is. No, yeah, we're not, yeah, not at all. So, Rooting for him. Yeah, I, I, so, so, I don't know, but that's kind of an interesting thing about, right? Like, the show didn't want us to hate him? What were yeah, that to? is interesting. To think he was kind of cool and interesting. Oh, so. Because I gave him his comic, uh, you know, mask. That was funny. We put it on just to take it back off after shooting yeah. people or whatever. Or... <laughs> yeah. Pretty pointless, but sure. Well, it's good for the trailers. Hi, EFAP. My cat has been struggling with a white, white blood cell count the last few weeks. She doesn't have much time left. Love your pets while you can. You never know when your time will be cut short. Hmm. I hear him. Uh, never had a cat myself. I did. I've known a lot of people with cats. Yeah, I had a cat when I was really young, but barely remember it. Oh, Farkle. Hmm. Well. Uh, yeah, pets are precious, man. Hey definitely give you the perspective of like, man, you know, animals are kind of cool. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of neat animals and cats are one of them. Uh, watch the 1990 film Jacob's Ladder directed by Adrian Lyne. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Jacob's hmm. Ladder. I've not seen it. I know the name, but I haven't seen it. I don't yeah, think same so. here. Hollywood is becoming more Bollywoodized. Indian film industry. A majority of Bollywood movies are purely escapist and operate completely on feelings. Logic and plot consistency are secondary. It's sad to see the de-evolution. Or devolution. Um. Uh, I don't know. If it was, if it was, I feel like Michael Bay is what you get when you're trying to just go feeling based in terms of like, I want people to be, like be blown cool. away. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Lots of things going on right now that tangle everything up into crazy nonsense. Um, mm -hmm. But there is definitely no consideration for plot consistency. You ain't wrong there. Thank you, Rags. I actually like the show, but it's not good. I wanted to like it more. I want to be able to recommend this, but I can't. So many great character moments, but not the most important ones. It's so clunky. So many great character moments? Why? For what show? Presumably Falcon the Winter Soldier. Yeah. I guess I was just confused why they mentioned me in particular. Hmm. Maybe they're talking about something in particular, but uh, that's not Falcon the Winter Soldier, so. but I don't know. I assume so. Well, um, I'm afraid this may have been know, some okay. time ago, so it's hard for us to uh, remember that one. But, uh, whatever it was, that, I don't know. It was all right. I guess. Um, when Carly asked Bucky if he'd ever fought for anything bigger, why did he neglect to mention he fought in Europe in World War II? That's a pretty big cause. Did she actually ask him that at some point? 
Shouldn't most people even know that? Winter Soldier's um, exploits are pretty public at that point. I would imagine, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if... Because uh, I haven't seen that show in quite literally a year, so I can't quite remember if... Um, if he just, like, fails to... I mean, dude, fighting for a cause, what about Thanos? <laughs> I'm yeah, to, like, save I can the believe universe. that he doesn't say things that his character would obviously say. Hmm. True. Uh, never seen the show, but I'll gladly watch you massives tear it apart anyway. The MCU should have stopped at Endgame. Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> the more time goes on. Uh, <laughs> and um, maybe we should have stopped at Infinity War. Hit that credits, and it's just like. Imagine whatever you want for how everything turned out. Um, Jay Longbone, please say sorry, soy cuck, but in the real world, the Chad Chud get the big titty MB girl pregnant in a smug voice. Man, I assume these are all from the same person. These, these weird requests for Jay Longbone. He's making his own MCU. Maybe. Now I finally understand how people felt after TLJ. Captain America's shield covered in blood says, Look what we do with your symbol of heroism. My hope was that Zemo would blow Carly's head off. Oh, he came <laughs> so close. He came so, so close, close that the show wouldn't let him. The show wouldn't let him. Oh, that was a moment for us when he actually got the shot off and we were like, <gasps> And then, uh, yeah, she just hid behind a table. Yeah, that bulletproof table. Oh god, do you remember the moment when he was- it seemed like he was contemplating taking the super soldier oh, we serum? we were so worried, but then oh, when we he started so smashing worried, him, yeah. it was such a moment of relief, like, oh, thank it the was, lord. It's the most oh. tension I've felt in a Disney product in so long. For a while, long. yeah. Legitimately. Like, seriously. Well, at that point, anyway, No Way Home is kinda... Oh yeah, I guess No Way Home as well, <laughs> yeah, but like, true. I almost- almost don't even think of that as like the MCU for some reason. Yeah, it's like the Suicide Squad being in a, like a DC movie. Almost. Yeah, because yeah. if you if we were to grab like you know make a scale, it all follows this trend, and then there's just well, this one that walks off. It's weird outlier. Like, yeah. <laughs> this one movie with great characters and terrible plot, and you're just like, what? What? What are you doing? How we haven't you? had yeah. you in ages. Where? What? What, what are you up to? <laughs> Tim Pool says, Falcon the Winter Soldier is anti-woke because Falcon punches Antifa while choosing to fight for America. Thoughts? Also, hi, Rags. Hi. So, what? I feel like... Did they forget the power he... He advocates for them at yeah. the end. But also, like, can we just stop framing media analysis through, like, these political leads? Oh, it's super cringe. Because, uh, yeah, you can talk about it without referencing these people and see like these these organizations and trying to see which one better represents whichever i just think that uh falcon winter soldier is a fucking disaster uh, yeah whether or not it's it's work it, or not <laughs> i don't I just i don't care i just i like that like that's the thing man like you say whether or not it's work whether or not it's anti-woke it's like wait how does uh i doubt disney would want to intentionally make that right with with what I, I don't know. Like, okay. Nah. Weird thought. Um, I think Tim, Tim Pool has a couple of those kinds of takes, doesn't he? Well, because Tim Pool said that, um, what was it? That, like, uh, Squid Game was anti communism. Communist, yeah. Not anti capitalism. Which, I mean, it's just, uh, again, it's just another yeah. example of us being like, can't we? Can we, we just to... talk about what it is? Like Sometimes I think it's a matter of um, this is my toy, and it is and it's yeah a little bit. You can't me. let the other the other guys have it because everyone likes Squid Game for the most part. So then it's like, exactly. well, you know, you understand they do the thing. I know, I know, plenty of them would have. Where it's like you don't understand the point of the show. You like it, no, you don't even know actually... that it's against you or something. Like, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's like okay, can we just can we stop, please? Uh. EFAP 133 catch up when? More importantly, high rags. Uh, Hello! Hopefully that one got done, presumably. If Did we catch up on that one, maybe. Yeah. We, well, it's either in this list I've got or uh, or it's done. Um, mm. But if they're asking on this one, when this one's the earliest one I think we've got, then. 
Fuck, I hope that we got it done. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, Hyrax. It's not one more. Whoa. Decanonize endgame. Oh. I, I mean, that's never gonna happen. Not only is it never gonna happen, it's just I, I actually think a lot of people would be like, what the hell? Don't do that. Exactly. Yeah. Endgame was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Wilson would think that August Walker from MI Fallout is had a noble cause. Yeah, well, no, like, Falcon's logic applies to basically any villain. Where he's like, hey, you should, yeah. you should listen to him, man, come on. It's like, um... It's unbelievable, the fucking imagery of him, like, bringing her down with wings. And like, <laughs> yeah, as an angel. She, like, was crazy at the end. She shot well, Sharon. She, remember when, uh, when Walker was trying to, uh, save those people, she actively stopped oh, him. Oh, God. <laughs> she was actively trying to stop him from saving people. Ugh. Tough to watch. And they're probably gonna make Walker evil. Well, yeah, or at the very least, ah, see, he's an anti-hero, not like, uh, Bucky and- Not like, yeah, like they're arm. real heroes. And you just want to say, fuck off. What is Sam's job? Does he or doesn't he work for the government? What is Sharon? Cap is the one white man whose opinion would matter. Zemo's right. What do you mean that Cap is the one white man whose opinion would matter? What does that mean? I don't what? know what they're referring to. <laughs> Zemo is right. Why are the flag smashers? Just says, why are they? Sam's speech is so out of yeah. character. The editing. They're just general complaints, I think. Um... Yeah, well... Sam's job is, is completely unknown. I, they they say he does, like, Black Ops missions, I think, for the government, but it, it doesn't pay at all. So, uh, yeah, the, you know, the government doesn't have any money to pay. Uh, Maybe if he was white, they would have paid him. And it's good to keep in mind, the Falcon technology is incredible. Um, it is insane. They could have done so much cool shit with his Falconness, but... Oh, I wasn't... I was talking more so about his him. lack of money when he's, like, walking around with government property that's worth a gajillion mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, we're yeah, supposed like to believe. And wing. he can repair it on the, on the go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a clearly very intelligent person who's very good with tech. But, yeah. Got to be poor, otherwise our narrative doesn't work. And then what is Sharon? No idea. She became the boss of Madripoor. Yeah. What is yeah. Sharon? Don't know what's going on there either. Uh, Rags and whoever this applies to, pick three of your favorite fantasy races slash species to fuck Mary kill for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> also, hi Rags. Hello. Yeah, I would rather talk about nerdy stuff instead of which things you want yeah. to fuck from whatever fantasy IPs. Yeah. Since the snap the, was indiscriminate- The floating squids from Mass Effect, fuck it. Yeah. Since the snap was indiscriminate, imagine waking up one day and you're the only person left in your town. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. So many stories to have told. With that time, but yeah, so many. Yeah, told none of them. And you might think to yourself, e there was a discussion like, yeah, 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 we could do all of those, but there's a very specific reason we're doing this blip thing, and we need to sort out those storytelling goals. And you're like, uh huh, what are they? Uh, <laughs> and you Yo, look at everything that's come out since, and you're like, yeah, how have you benefited from making this thing a thing? Mm hmm. Because I'm trying to think, it's like, I guess. Yeah, because all the movies have tried to ignore it, so I don't understand, like, why all this was movies, necessary. I mean, it was just there because it was a big thing to get people into the cinemas for the sequel. What a mess. Um, everyone's talking about how strong Vibranium is, when in Episode 6, Cap's shield is taken out by a chair. Anyway, keep up the good work, my Ewoks. Yeah. God, I almost forgot about that. It was a pretty strong chair, right? And Batrock is yeah. a talented man. Uh... Hello, Massives, and hi, Rags. Hi there! Has anyone played Baldur's Gate 3 and or Control? Thoughts on them? I've not uh, played them. They're, Baldur's I've 3 played... is on my to-do list. I played a little bit of Control, but I couldn't tell you much about it. I, um, yeah. I hear it's really good. Yeah, I've heard good things. I've heard it's okay. 
Yeah, I don't know anything about it either. Um, I haven't seen this show, but it sounds like El Chupacabra. I'm staying away from it. Uh, certainly wouldn't recommend it to anybody. <laughs> Hopefully that was clear after we spent, what, how many hours talking about it? It's pretty easy right now to do recommendations for Marvel. It's like, um, alright, so once you, presumably you're done with Endgame. Nothing it's like, where really. should you go the next? It's like, well, No Way Home, and then uh, be good. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, calling wait, it... I thought they were like 10 projects. It's like, oh, no, they weren't. <laughs> oh, well, I mean... Calling it the Goat Sucker is actually very, very on point. You guys know what, you know what... Oh, I guess I started the wrong thing. So Chupacabra means the Goat Sucker. Uh, because of the... The legend that it goes around exsanguinating, you know, farm and like, cattle and, you know, chattel, that sort of thing. So, mm -hmm. in much the same way that goat means greatest of all time, you have all these great, great characters that are ruined by, you know, the MCU's continuation. Hmm. Yeah. So you're saying there's quite the argument to say that, uh, the Marvel, the MCU is El Chupacabra right now. In a sense, though, what does it mean when it's sucking its own blood dry, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's people's creations that came before, I guess. True. If you break, break it up to be less broad, it is new creators sucking yeah. the blood out of old creators' stuff. Yeah. Um. Reminder to support Beyond the Pale RPG on Patreon. No idea what that, what that is. is. But all right. I have no clue what that is. Oh, Mola mentioning a leaf on the wind. Now I'm sad. Wash. No, 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 no. That's a spoiler right there. There's no need for me to read that one out, but yes, very sad. Uh. Tim Pool says Falcon. Oh, wait. I read it. Either that one was sent <laughs> twice or I read it before. Um. They deliberately show that Sam and Bucky cannot fight together until they can. Does Falcon's new suit give him super strength? Do they mean to reinforce Walker's privilege by not court-martialing him? Physics. <laughs> um, what do you mean that, uh, they can't fight together until they can? I'm not sure what they mean by that. And, uh, as for his suit giving him super strength, presumably not? Well, I think we're meant to presume that it does. I don't know how it would, but I think we're meant to assume that it helps. Um, I think I think we're meant to assume that it does that because it's like, oh, it's vibranium. That's that's what vibranium does. It helps you. Well, it's gonna be bulletproof because yeah, they need course. everyone to be bulletproof. Vibranium. Nobody can get shot. Bullets can't. Bullets, well, it's just funny uh, because of the way the mask is done. That it's so stupid. It leaves its like whole head open, right? Yeah, it does. It leaves the top of his head open, too. That's the big part. It's like, what the hell are we doing? Uh, seems a little dumb, but alright. If Zemo was the main villain of the show, do you think it would have been improved? Honestly, no. Uh, exactly what they did with him, it was it's a miracle we got that. It, it is, is a miracle. Um, it is hard to overstate. We were, we were legitimately tense in the chest every time he was on screen. Yeah. Because we know their track yeah. record, and we were just... We were like, oh man, I can't fucking believe that. It's like every scene, every scene, it teetered on the edge of a knife that they were gonna ruin him. They, um, when they break him out, not his fault. It's it's everyone who works there and Bucky and Falcon for thinking that was gonna work. Bucky, that doesn't really destroy him at all. And then they're carrying him around and he actually, like, outsmarts them by getting information but under their nose from that place he takes them to. Then yeah. I think they want to try and recapture him. He ends up getting loose, running away, and in st and like in a rare moment of them actually coming through on his character, his only focus was trying to crush this new rising super soldier threat, and he does. And it's like, and then he actually gives himself uh, gives himself up w while talking about how this was never about like any kind of. He's not doing this because he's like evil. And, uh, like I said, just, how the fuck did we get that lucky? Unreal. Yeah. A little bit lucky there. Could have so, been a fucking disaster. You wouldn't have been surprised at all if they had made him, like, the evil one of the... Like, there, there seems to be an element of going for this, but, like, how he and Carly are kind of the same thing, and that uh, she's kind of maybe more sympathetic, because they give her more backstory shit than, uh, 
than he gets yeah. in this, or at least reminding of what his backstory is, but whatever. Yeah, uh, had they made him the main villain of the show, I think it would have been much worse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, hello, all my N-Woods. Hi, Rax. Hi. Do say hello to Wolf from me, because he was the reason I found you massives. Try to have a fun EFAP. Well, oh, thank you very much. I'm sure. You always try to have fun. We consider e that one was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. This show was so bad, from preachy childish narrative to stupid millennial villain, and Bucky suddenly forgot his training and can't defeat a bunch of drugged hippies. Hydra would be so ashamed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Bucky was nerfed like crazy in this uh, that season. Yeah, he's kind of a stupid asshole. What a shame. Yeah. Yeah, really. How do you feel? Oh, see, there's another one, but I mean, it's definitely a different one. How do you feel about Tim Pool's take that Fatwas isn't woke, that it's patriotic Captain America beating up Amtifa? <laughs> I think that he's <laughs> so getting funnier each time. <laughs> I just, I just reading into the shit like this is always just hilarious to me. It's just, it, we've talked before as well it's about just like our approach. Even if they intended for whatever messaging and they're really incompetent at writing it, it just makes everything even more worse with another dimension on top uh, in terms of like shitty yeah. writing. Because you start to try and draw a message out of it, and I could totally see Tim Pool arguing with the writers. I could see the writers being like, uh, no. The the Flag Smashers have a righteous cause, and Tim Pool's like, no they don't. And uh, neither does, does Falcon think so, and he's beaten the fuck out of them. And then the writers are probably like, no, we have a whole scene where he goes over how blah blah blah, and then you could be like, yeah, but all he says is do better. He, has, he doesn't, they don't have any, <laughs> you know, like, you could, yeah, it's just. Yeah, I can see it happening. I gotcha. Check out Invincible. Unlike Joss and Snyder's cuts, it actually does the real consequences of superheroes very well and actually has funny jokes. So, I can tell this is an older one because it seems like the opinion on Invincible has kind of shifted, uh, in the time set. I don't know it's if- well, people stopped like recommending it, eventually. They didn't give they up did. with fucking Arcane. No, they didn't. Which, and they got three uh, streams for it, so... <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know. They knew, but uh... That turned out to be a good strategy there. I mean, I've just come to terms with that now. I realize that that's just one way to get me to watch anything, is once there's enough recommendations from enough people, especially people that are like... People who have similar tastes as me, I just be like, oh shit, all right. Yeah. It's kind of neat how, because like, if our game was shit, I seriously doubt it would have gotten around. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, I think it probably would have just nobody would have cared, right? I'm pretty sure it would just be that show that someone mentions in a super chat. Like, did you play LOL? Did you able to see that show they made about it? And I'd be like, nope. Yeah. Or I would have asked Theo if it was any good, and he would have said nope, and then that'd be it. Because he would watch it, because he's obsessed with animation. You guys don't get it. Falcon is trying to hide his income from the IRS. That's why he can't lend money to his sister. <laughs> That's like the reveal. He just wants to spend it on himself. He's tired of all this bullshit. <laughs> I love uh, how Marvel insinuates the Winter Soldier was active in the Korean War, but the world as we know it involves the US, Europe, and random fake countries. Oh, you're saying, like, with the amount they fuck with, like, our understanding of everything in the MCU, that you don't even know what these historical events would have meant? With, uh... Yeah. Kind of true. Um, you know, if you want to get super nerdy with it, it's like the existence of Captain America would have had an enormous ripple effect on the whole world and culture everywhere. Yeah. But they don't want to... We don't want to deal with that. We'd just rather say, no, everything's the same, he's just here. Except maybe Coulson has some trading cards, you know? It's like, alright. Because remember, you get him, and then nothing for ages. And then loads of superheroes suddenly, of all different places, all different sources, many from the cosmos, all converging. And you can tell that once upon a time we may have been able to argue it's to do with Thanos collecting the stones, but really at this point there's just nothing to suggest that there's any reason. It's just a matter of, fuck it, this is being made 
in this day and age and everyone's just popping up now because we're making more of them. That's it. Mm -hmm. The kind of coincident stuff people don't even like to think about because it seems like so petty to complain about. It's like, oh no, Spider-Man and Iron Man are operating around at the same time. Why is that a problem? It's like, ah, ah, ah. The only way to get around it is there's a solar flare and it affects the whole population of Earth. Yeah. But, and some people it does nothing, and some people it gives them power. Kind of like uh, the Nevers. Yeah. Uh, also, Smallville, I think, and the Flash show did that. Um, this helps you generate a bazillion villains for your hero to fight. Um, Miss Invincible. It's worse than Falcon, but guys, you'll like it. This screenshot has the same colors as this one panel. It's awful on so many levels. I'm sorry. Do not understand it's what you're saying. <laughs> it's very confusing. When you say this screenshot, Super Chats can't come with screenshots. So, uh, yeah, I got nothing on that one. Um, on Fringy's Ronin point... One of the most valuable things I've ever learned is that your emotions might be real, but they might not be rooted in reality. Yeah. It's, um... They're in response to external stimuli, or even just thoughts that you have, I guess, that can arise. But, like, as for whether or not they're gonna help you is it's kind of a different question. What's that gonna do with Ronan? I, I'm not sure what is Like, Ronan, specifically Hawkeye. Okay. I, no, I, uh, that's what I mean. I, like, the sentiment I understand. I guess I don't understand what it has to do with uh, Hawkeye, though, if that's who they're talking about. I, yeah, because I just can't remember what you may have said related to that, that thing. But, yeah. yeah. I'm incredibly disappointed in myself for not noticing all these issues. The longer the stream goes on, the more I hate Fatwas. <laughs> um, yeah, it's riddled from episode one, because it's no secret that I actually have a whole script written that breaks down that entire show. Uh, mm. one day maybe made into a video. But, like, even the, um... I think we would have gone over it in the stream, but the scene with the therapist and Bucky, it's, like, completely oh, catastrophic immediately. Yeah. Because they didn't think about any of it. And it just makes you wonder about the state of Bucky in this world. You cannot gloss over that. The, the time to, to address that for the audience is this show, but they don't. But they don't, and now will they ever? It's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> nah, they don't give a fuck. I don't know that they do, really. They just forgot about War Machine being black and an American symbol? Is that because he's already War Machine that they wouldn't want to give him Captain America? I mean, I guess I can understand why they wouldn't want to give it to him, maybe, but like... But well, Falcon I guess is already Falcon, so... Well, but yeah, that, that's true. actually my argument for why he shouldn't be Captain America, as I don't understand. Uh, but, because... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you had, like, they have the shield, and they're like, who should we give this to? And Walker is one of the suggestions, and then someone says, well, what about Rhodey? I could totally see them being like, well, he's War Machine. Like, War Machine is this... the closest thing we've got to a government sort of hero. Already, he's yeah. established. We wouldn't want him to become Captain America, then we lose a... Well, technically speaking, you can get a replacement War Machine, but Rhodey is a really good War Machine, so there's no real reason to... Yeah. You know, yeah, and so and and to be fair, I'm pretty sure they they figured Walker would be like perfect. Um Yeah, and then I guess it just didn't pan out because the plot demanded that. Yeah. Even though he was fucking stellar, and I doubt you could have picked a more upstanding person for the job. Well yeah, remember remember in canon he won three medals of honor. <laughs> like you don't just get to say that and well, like, the fact pretend that, he's that doesn't mean anything. Not only having won three, but the fact that he's alive and he's won three? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. But nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Walker is cringe. Anyway, everyone went full massive when Lamar died, and Winter Falcon just let everyone run away. Even my fangirl wife could not... Um, and... There's no second part to it. No. Oh. Maybe, maybe it ends there. She... His fangirl wife could not. Yeah, no, that seems really annoying. Um, for some reason, everyone is, like, blown away by whether or not Lamar is okay. Instead of, it, like, like... To me, someone like um, Bucky should be completely unfazed by people dying. Uh, 
Unless, of course, they're by like now. Steve. He should be. He should be bothered by how he's unfazed by it. Yeah. If anything, yeah. His decision making shouldn't be um, like ruined by the fact that someone in the middle of this fight may have died. Like that. That should be on the cards, like totally for him at all times. Yeah. So, I mean, like the fact that this guy is like this had a whole history of being a merciless fucking killer. I don't know, I think yeah, they could have done so much better work it. for it. Oh yeah, of course they could have, but... <laughs> that was never on the cards really, was it? Um, but yeah, they all fucking run out of the room, and everyone just watches it because they're... they're you know, if obviously Walker running up to Lamar's body and being like, that's totally fine, but... Yeah. Having Falcon and Bucky just sort of let everyone... Remember, in that scene as well, Bucky, like, has the chance to kill one of them, and he just doesn't. Because he's like, nah. nah, I don't want to. And it's just like, <laughs> man, clearly there was an idea of Why trying to explore. Why are you here? Like, yeah. th there was obviously an idea of, like, should Bucky kill anymore? Or is he uncomfortable killing now because he's, you know, more Bucky than he is Winter Soldier? And you're just like, you didn't explore that shit really at all, did you? No. I, d I don't even know if it was even there to be anything other than just, I don't know. It makes me wonder if that's just residue of, like, what they were planning to maybe do, if they had more time or maybe, whatever, but yeah. I don't know. Frustrating. I couldn't stop laughing about Sam talking about being the black man with stars and stripes, like Iron Patriot wasn't a thing. That was a mistake, yeah. That, I, I yeah, agree on that, that one. Was that was a fuck up. They completely like, forgot it, Iron Man 3. It literally 3. happened, yeah. And I saw there were, there were plenty of discussions about that. They were like, this is a different thing. He's referring to Captain America. And it's like, dude, War Machine wore the fucking American flag on himself, yeah, pretty much. Like, like, you can't get more star-spangled than that. It's, it's just like, I, I refuse to believe they remembered that when they wrote that. I, I would hasten to guess that they didn't. Walker is cringe. No, wait, sorry, I read that one. Uh... In Ultron, doesn't Cap drag a man behind his bike at high speed before flinging him into a tree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he does. There are plenty of... We, we highlighted a huge amount of times that Cap has taken someone who is disabled in terms of, like, their threatening levels, and he's just decided to execute them. Which, by the way, is not something I hold against a person in the middle of a fucking war bear type place. Yeah. However, if this show when is going to hold that facts, against the character... Yeah. You have to hold it against Cap, all the people he's killed. I mean, like, the people in the trust kill him. Remember when know? fucking Iron Man blew out the guy's heart in Iron Man 3? Yeah. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. And at that point, if it's just the fact that people saw it, I'd be like, well, what a, what a great <laughs> bit of nuance you got going there. Yeah. You only kill people if nobody sees you do it. <laughs> hey, it's the private versus public murdering, okay? <laughs> uh, I thought Bucky was holding back in fights because of his arc, but no. What is the point of a vibranium arm if it's just an arm? Okay, so having an arm is very useful. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> just in case I'm assuming they're more so appealing that. to how it doesn't seem to do much. Other, like, like, that's not just the things that an arm can do uh, in some of his fights. But I mean, how many times does he punch people with that arm? Because you'd think that would be the obvious thing to be able to disable someone quickly with, right? Just go because it would hurt a lot. Cause the vibranium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, getting punched by a metal arm. Yeah, I would the, imagine the, that shit hurts. Maybe I had the wrong, like, it's intonation, because what the, I think they do have a point. What is the point of a vibranium arm if it's just an arm? Oh, right, I see. I guess because it would be indestructible, basically. Yeah. Maybe it's just, yeah. But they, they think that you'd want to put that shit to use. I guess that's the implication. It's just like, it doesn't seem to make much use of it at all in any particular oh, way. Oh, sure. Like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's an arm. Remember when she disables it? Uh, yeah, yeah like, with like a red hand. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you sleep. I hope all the hosts in chat are doing good. As do I. Yeah. Uh, my mum had this job. If you hadn't gotten income for years, then there is no reason to believe the debt can be paid. Damn sister is just dumb. I can't remember what, what job they're talking about. Did you, what, did, what, what was his sister's the, job? I can't remember. I thought it was just like community catering? service or something. Oh, catering was it? Oh, it could I, be, yeah. Catering, yeah. She was a caterer. 
a person of cater. Hmm. <laughs> if you haven't gotten income for years, then there's no reason to believe the debt can be paid. Oh, I guess it's relating to how she- But, yeah, but the reason why it's stupid is because I had no income for years because I didn't exist. Like, Which, that was a um, criticism. They bring up, but then sort of don't really address, like, as an yeah. obvious problem. They basically problem. say it's your fault. Yeah. yeah. They say, yeah. we're not going to give you this loan because you didn't have income for five years. And they said, well, I was blipped away for five years. And they said, lol, don't care. When yeah, obviously exactly. that's absurd and no one no would way ever would operate work that way, by yeah. that. No, yeah, especially not. when half of the world... There so be, half um, of the world doesn't get to have loans anymore. There would be like a blip package. You just have to prove that Basically, you're blipped, and then you'd get a blip package. There would absolutely be a blip package. Yeah, and the government would be all over it, trying to make sure everyone can get back to on their feet, yeah, basically. Yeah, that'd be a huge thing politicians would talk about. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. everyone has family members who are blipped. Everyone knows how difficult this is, and we're, we're not going to leave those people behind. That sort of shit. Absolutely. Dude, imagine that was in the show. That would be really cool. Like, there's an actual that presidential really election cool. relating to the blip and everything. Yeah, yeah I think it would bad. be... I wouldn't trust them to do it in a million years, but, you uh, know... Oh, no, yeah, because they'll say that, yeah, they'll, they'll have the Republicans or the, the right... They will have a literal say, Cheeto on they screen. Sucked. And he will he'll be a Cheeto in a little, little tuxedo or something. For some reason. And he'll be like, aren't we very clever? But then, of course, uh, uh, House of Cards kind of dabbled in that, and it went to shit as well. Did you see that season, Fringy? I think you did, right? Where they started having Which the election. One? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did watch that one. I was season four, I think, right? It was like, it was like I think season four was the last one that was pieces of good. Oh, I didn't watch after that, no. I, I can't even remember the difference anymore in terms of the good and bad seasons and where it went wrong. I think season one and two were like the only good ones, right? Really cool. And then three was kind of a mixed bag. And uh, what I hear is the last, absolute last one was an absolute oh, yeah. fucking nightmare to watch. Because they have not managed to deal with Kevin Spacey being booted out very well. And, you know, hate the man IRL, but uh, his character was a big draw for that show. Um... You guys don't get it. Falcon is trying to hide his income. Oh, wait, sorry, I read that. Uh. <laughs> you already did that one. Just finished watching new Mortal Kombat movie. I laughed entire time. How bad it was and funny in the same time. Yeah, well, it's a pretty um, pretty awful movie, but like it, in, it, entertainment factor is still quite there for a lot of it, pieces yeah. of it. Are we talking about the old Mortal Kombat? No, the, or the new, new one? one? New one. Laugh the entire time? Hmm. There were, I think there were stretches in that film where we were just like, come on, do stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't good. Wasn't, I wouldn't call it terrible. It wasn't good, though. Yeah. Kind of on bad. Yeah. But there were parts I liked. Oh, yeah. But my civil war. Gosh darn, y'all sound like a bunch of colonizers and you get what you deserve. Oh, no. Oh. We are kind of colonizing YouTube, okay, by, by making content on it. Existing, yeah. yeah. Chat still owes more of 50,000 50, more memes. They'll be forgiven after they pay their debt. Jesus. Oh, is that a oh, reference to Steppenwolf Zack owing Snyder like 50,000 planets? Yeah. Do you remember that? You owe 50,000 oh, yeah, worlds. That's right, 50,000 worlds. I was like, Which, you just want me to never come thinking? back. So you never want me to come yeah. back. Yeah, basically. If he can knock out one per day, <laughs> oh my god, it's still gonna yeah, be really long. Yeah, still gonna take him fifty thousand years. Look how long it took him to do it. That... Yeah, like goddamn, what a stupid movie. <laughs> that movie is a very stupid movie. Yeah. One of them will building problems where from the get go you're just like, hang on. <laughs> Have you thought about how fucking long a time that is? That's like getting a sentence. No, not life sentence. Just 10,000 years in the slammer. Never liked Civil War. I always knew they'd drop the split and the chords. Would have liked to be wrong, but anyway, you don't get credit for an idea. That's not a reason to what dislike Civil War, What does that have to do with War, you though? not liking... No, yeah, Civil War is yeah. down for what it is in terms of a... Um, yeah, you can't retroactively... Of the concept. Like, yeah. 
I all, all well, what I would say is Civil War's potential was squandered um, after the fact. Yeah, it's like um, it sets up really a brand new, fresh chapter for the world of the MCU, and then they sort of rushed into well, we're doing the end of the Thanos stuff now. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, oh, so what about the Accords? Yeah, what about him? Oh. <laughs> and then they finish oh. up, and then they're like, right, back to normal. What is the state yeah, of our normal like, world? It's like, well, there was there was a cord. It's it's fine. Do whatever. You can do whatever you so want. That was the problem. Falcon and Soldier was the spiritual successor to Civil War. Uh, Civil War, yeah, it was. It even pain. used some of the music. Yeah. Bucky sold his first issue of The Hobbit to pay for Falcon's free weapon rentals. If that's like oh, a that's meme right. Because he, he, well, because he, he uh, read the Hobbit when it came out, and apparently there were actually very few copies printed when it came out. And imagine how much that would be worth if you still had that. Well, it'd be worth a lot, yeah. Didn't want to keep bothering Rags with Angry Joe's reviews, so I'll super chat it. Last episode, he gave an eight out of ten. Oh, I guess he gave one of yeah. the. That doesn't I'll surprise me. We just talking about that. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's uh, he's not good at reviewing movies and shows. He's just not he's not equipped for it. Um, uh, one day Joe will have a non, a good non-game take. Um, yeah, maybe. What is the technical difference between a warlock and a wizard? Oh, I can't remember. This I conversation, I remember I it happening, but I can't remember. I think it. the implication is that a warlock dabbles in more of the occult kind of magics. I, I thought what we had established was that it was just that, like a warlock is a is a male witch. Yeah, that's what I've always known it to me. Um, yeah, uh, well, that that kind of goes into what I said because a witch generally has a like uh, when people say. Uh, oh, like, there's like, like a negative witch. connotations, I guess. Yeah, there's uh, negative connotations to a witch in the sense that they, the blood rituals and consorting with demons and dark magic and the the occult, right? And a warlock kind I of gotcha. gives that vibe, you know. I think it's been pretty broadened out at this point. It's really gonna just, again. It's kind of like vampire and or goblin and to, but werewolf. Still think it kind of carries that baggage with it. If you want to call it baggage, it's not really baggage. It's it kind of is, but, new, is it? yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's just sort of a general like if i was making a world and i referred to someone as if i had a character refer to a, a female magician if you will as a a witch it meant that they would see them and the magic they do as almost it's almost like an insulting thing or a derogatory thing but also descriptive like oh that's that's a witch you know they wouldn't say oh yes she's a mage or she's funny a wizard in the Buffy universe, magic users that are female are called witches, and there's plenty of ones that are strictly yeah. altruistic and non-occulty. Yeah, yeah, sure there are. What would you call them then? Like just women who are using magic? That are not um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. If I was, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's 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 world specific but there's just general connotations to things but i don't know it just depends on the world um i would call them i mean as 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 being in the world or myself being outside of the world looking in no you're writing it i mean if i'm writing it it would depend on the nature of their magic probably like if, so if they, it they was do like healing spells and fun fireworks yeah if, if, a Gandalf, but a girl. Was, yeah, if it was good Gandalf stuff and like white magic and healing and things like that, I, would, I, I might just say, go call them mages or magi or wizards or I don't I don't think I call them sorcerers. Sorcerer has more of a mysterious um, kind of vibe to it. If you call someone a sorcerer, they could go either way in terms of good or bad. Um, calling someone a, a sorcerer has it, it, it conjure it conjures up a, a kind of like oh kind of untrustworthiness because you never know what a sorcerer will do. But wizard seems more approachable. I think it's well, actually a you got like the answer you're looking in, for uh, <clears throat> in Buffy where uh, 
witch has negative connotations and one of the characters that is a witch is frustrated by that. Yeah. Um, I just joined and there's strange music going on. I was so confused and then Fringle started looking up the definition. I get it. Yeah, we had a whole <laughs> discussion on That's right. witches, wizards, wimbles, wimbles. Dun, 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 music. Uh, wizards are separate and require training. Sorcerers have innate magic. Witches are made of wood. And therefore sheet, tear. And warlocks are male witches. Witches are made of wood. That's the first I've heard of that. Oh, that's the same joke. here. Oh, is it's it? Is yeah. it what? Because they're burnt? No, Monty Python. Oh. I don't. I'm I, blanking on that completely. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm here. If if a, a witch is made of wood, she'll float. Oh, that, that was a. I remember that from The Simpsons. Simpsons had that as a joke. Yeah, I think I'm getting that tangled up. Um. And now you're just making me think about Season of the Witch. <laughs> great film. Great, great film. film. Great film. Great film. Uh, at Mola, restore the elevator music. Tism. Hashtag, yeah. Uh, but anyway, hi guys, hi Fringo, and the queen of the cackle, Jay Longbone, and I guess Rags. Oh, Hello. Nice. The difference is the hat. Ah, it all becomes clear. Uh, sorcerer's magic comes from themselves. Wizard mage magic comes from nature. Which is warlock's magic is granted from someone else, like a deal with the devil. I like how these rules are. They're all different for each person who sends them in. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's so confidently. Okay, then again, well, I'm so pretty I think it just highlights the reality of the situation. It's dependent on your whatever fictional the, writing, uh, whatever yeah. particular version. I said this. This applies to like vampires, werewolves, and. Uh, even Frankenstein, like, there's gonna be all kinds of different ways of doing it. Because, like, if I had vampires that aren't affected by sunlight, you would just be like, what? But if it became, like, a hyper-popular take, because it was so well-written or whatever, um, or just, just people enjoyed the idea, then eventually people would just yeah. be like, I guess vampires aren't always affected by the sun. And then there probably is some kind of fucking, like, old-ass reference. Like, the, the, it, the, this, this comes up with zombies, um... The original ones don't eat brains. Or even right. flesh, right? They just eat... They do whatever their master commands them to do. That's how they work. And that's just not the perception that they have no, now in terms of what they completely moved on now. And if you made them that way, I think people would be like, This isn't zombies, this like, is like voodoo call. magic yeah. or whatever. Exactly. That's a great example to have, because it kind of proves the point. But that's fine. Exactly. Um... Mage is a profession. Wizard is wise. Sorcerer influences fate. Oh, more, more crazy rules. <laughs> <laughs> I think fate slash stay night covered this. A techno mage just executes code. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got nothing for you. <laughs> so then, according to the Disney trilogy, Ray is a sorcerer, and it is about space sorcerers. And stop taking it so seriously. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what force users are categorized as. I guess wizards, because they're guess. using the natural world, which is something that somebody said. That apparently matters. <laughs> uh, I identify as a battle mage. Pretty cool. I guess. Uh, I guess. I guess Gandalf's like a battle wizard, isn't he? Getting in there. In a sense, yeah. He Lice gets into battles. You shall not pass. Mola is a rigger lover. Rigger? What? Or maybe who? I don't know. Alright, well. One who rigs? Yeah. A one of rigor. Oh, that's something I didn't mention to you guys before, and now it'll be here instead of on a different EFAB, I guess. But, uh, watch the new episode of Doctor Who. It's this wonderful part. Now, to give you all the components you need, there's like eight people on a pirate ship. And then, okay. maybe about 10 meters away to the left is a ghost pirate ship thing that's floating there. 
and they realize oh the ship they are on is probably about to explode, I think, and they, ha they have to get onto that other ship. And so, yep. this is something that means... they walk on the ghost ship? They've, uh, it's just a big gap between their ship and that ship. Okay. So, they say, like, we've got to get over there. It's like, yeah, all right, so, uh, you know, th there's a couple things we, I'm sure we could come up with for solutions to that problem, but, you know, what did they do? They cut to a wide shot of both ships. You can't really see, like, the nature of anyone, or just, you could just kind of barely see the ships. And then you hear the doctor say, Geronimo! And then it cuts to the next scene, and they're all on that ship. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's one way to solve a problem when you when you're working on something like that. Yeah, yeah, wraps that all up in a neat little bow. I'm starting to think that Gerardo was ADR as well. Maybe they like filmed it and it was awful, whatever their thing was. They're like, can we just <laughs> can we just do something else? Let's just not show it. It's somehow better that way. It's so what we shot is so bad it's better to not even show it. Um if an astronaut was a werewolf and on the moon, would he turn into a werewolf even if the moon isn't full? Mm. Well, Hi. from <laughs> your perspective, the moon is... Well, you can only... You're, you see far less of the moon when you're actually on the moon. So... Well, about seeing it or total, feeling it? it? More of your, uh... Hmm. Well, that's the thing. You see less of the moon in totality. You know, the, the answer to this is it depends on what your werewolf lore is. Yeah. yeah, if the werewolf <laughs> floor is just being in the sight of the moon, then you would always be oh, yeah, because a werewolf Van if Helsing you were on the moon. argued like it was literally whether or not you can see it, or, or it like shines its light, a moonlight, I think, made you a werewolf. Yeah. So that means that on the dark side of the moon, you would not be a werewolf, but on the light side of the moon, you would. What about if you're on the dark side of the moon, you shine a little torch down on the floor? I don't think that would... You would have to shine a... Maybe if you've shown a bright enough light at the moon to bounce it off, you could. Or maybe... Oh, maybe you well, could say specifically... Yeah? Why wouldn't just a little light work? Maybe it's just not bright enough. It wouldn't bounce back at you enough. It's strong enough. It would have to be a sufficiently strong enough actual light. Well, like, why would... I, I just assume anything more than zero would be enough. Um... I think even more than zero, there'd be some light coming off of it, but I don't think a flashlight would be strong enough to sort of trigger it, you know? Like you would need a, like if you took floodlights and things of that nature and rigged them up and um, shown it down and you were standing there with it, then that would work. But Or the, the alternative is that um, it specifically is sunlight that bounces off the moon. That could that be, could end, be yeah. a rule. And, and it turns that, out that the big twist is do. werewolves are much more connected to the sun, technically, because... Mm, that's right. You're onto like something that. there. <laughs> the moon is cool. Moon Knight is cool. Not anymore, oh, though. Whenever this nope. episode comes out. A very little Moon Knight in the show up to this point, haven't we? There yeah, there's very little, little Moon Knight. We only got, like, well, we've had five minutes of him? Maybe. We, we've had very little detective work, that's for sure. Yay. Yeah. Um, hashtag not my frozone. <laughs> Don't know what the context is for that, but... I'm sure it was relevant in some way. Um, at I William know. Icebane, he would turn into a werewolf when the Earth is fully lit as seen from the moon. He'd turn into a he'd turn into a werewolf and he could see the earth from the moon. Well, I didn't say he could see it. It was just that the once the moon lit up the earth at full potential. When the moon lit up the earth at full potential, meaning full moon. But, but for some reason, this thing seems to specify that it's how much it is lighting up the earth. Again, this to me just seems like yeah. something that's going to be different for everyone who's making it. Most people probably haven't even thought about it who make werewolf stuff. No, probably I, just probably like, not. it's whatever, it's the moon. This is worth thinking about, alright? I think so. Um, it sounds super 
petty almost, but ultimately, like, there are some payoffs you can have down the road if you think about these ahead of time. Absolutely. Think of all the scenarios your little wolfman will get into, you know, some of them might be relevant once you find out what your rules are. On a side note, currently lifting to get swole enough to pimp slap a werewolf. No fairy frick is gonna get a drop on me. Bite me, huh? I'll bite you. Oh. So, being swole won't prevent him from getting the drop on you, just so we're clear. If that's yeah, your yeah. goal, yes, I don't will. want you will. You'll to... punch him. Give him a big oh. punch straight away. We well, can still get the drop on you. No, as, as he's dropping, you'll punch him. Oh. No drop. Done. Comes out. And then, of course, once you bite the werewolf, you'll become a human wolf. He turns into a human every, every day. As a result of you infecting him with your human venom. Pretty cool. I recommend Invincible TV show earlier. It got really bad later on. Sorry for recommending it, lol. Oh. Hi. Dev. Story of our life. I don't think we had ever had anyone say they regret recommending Arcane, so... <laughs> no, so... Yeah. Does seem to be the someone exception. I'm sure, yeah, well... Maybe someone... If Season 2 is poopy, maybe. Maybe it'll be that way. Yeah, but hopefully not. Um, best albums for Rhapsody of Fire and Avantasia. Uh, Mystery of Time for Avantasia. And... Rhapsody of Fire is complicated. There's a couple. Oof. Um, the album that Emerald Sword is in, it might actually be called Emerald Sword. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, go go with those answers. Though I love basically the discography from both of those bands. Um, worst thing to hear in bed. Five dollars more if anyone can beat. Make sure to close the casket when you're done. The wake is tomorrow. Nice. To be fair, maybe you're fucking a vampire. Which, um, you know, that could be okay. Yeah, On I mean, end. they yeah. they passed the Harkness test. It's weird to so. do it there, though. Maybe it's a kinky thing, or maybe that's just their bedroom is a casket. Because <laughs> they sleep in caskets, cause, as you do if you're a vampire. They're they're mm -hmm. really, like, they're really conservative. They're big on tradition, you know, so they sleep in a casket. You know, Rex, character is asked. What? during the day when the vampire why isn't he sleeping in his coffin and he says i hate that stereotype I think yeah some of funny. them are like that maybe some of them embrace it yeah. um you have episodes are long slash don't jump from a place too high slash when grandma's getting discharged slash i'm worried because rags went in dry oh oh that's art yeah. Hoping for a review of Mortal Kombat, anyone? Well, you got an EFAP movies double feature on it, so. Yeah, we give we give pretty decent thoughts at the end. Yeah, talking about them both, which one we prefer, which one we uh, how we you know how we feel on both of them. So, you could uh, check those out, and you will have your answer. Yeah. And you'll have some fun times along the way. Rags, open carry is legal in AK. Do you? Uh, I don't live in Alaska. I live in Arkansas. However, uh, no, because open open carry is not a thing here currently. I am I, I carry concealed. That is how it's done here. Some states are open carry. Some states are open carry only and no concealed carry. Really? I yeah. Hmm. A train. I think. Go ahead. Yeah. So I think one state just signed into law that you don't even, you don't need a license to carry a gun uh, on you. So I don't know. It, it depends on state to state. You know, generally like in the south and some states out west and everything, the gun laws are way better. Um, and some they're just, uh, some are just downright fucking tyrannical and oppressive. So. Depends where you go. A lot of different states. Uh, A Train and Billy Butcher found Pippi Longstocking's Compound V shipment. Pippi Longstocking, that's a fucking trip movie. I'm not sure what this means. No, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Drinker's video on Starship Troopers was god awful. 
To be fair, Drinker hasn't been enlightened by Sargon, okay? A lot of people haven't. I don't blame a lot of people at this point for still having the, the, like, tier 2 perspective. I've talked about this before, and it sounds kind of vain. I don't mean it to me that way, but tier 1 perspective is, what a fun action movie. Tier 2 is, this movie was, like, trying to come across as, you know, cool and actiony while trying to prove that that's how fascism works. It kind of has an aesthetic you think is kind of neat and cool, but it's horrible underneath. And then tier 3 is, like, Wait, this this isn't fascist though. Yeah, this is like the opposite of fascism. This is actually kind of great. There's a lot of amazing. very interesting elements to it, and it's so weird to yeah, totally. watch um, arguments go back and forth because I think one of the best ones would be Red Alert Media would say, "You have this guy who's welcoming a new recruits. He's got a robot arm and two missing legs, and he says, um, uh, mobile infantry made me the man I am today, and like they laugh and say like, what a great little bit of satire, this guy who's sitting you in pieces like, being like, oh yes, this is this is a good thing for you guys to do, welcoming, welcoming them to the meat grinder. And then you have Sargon talk about it, and it's like, so it's a guy who's clearly a veteran, and he's proud of the work he did for his, his culture, his country, like, uh... Even as much as he's lost, and, he still is proud yeah, and, of, and, and glad that he did the decision, and it was worth it to him. And if it you take it uh, with, like, as good faith as you can with a literal interpretation, he's saying that with those words on purpose. He is like, look at me. I, I, I'm aware of the fact that I've lost limbs, and it hasn't uh, at all changed my perspective that I did the right thing for the right reasons, and, and I'm proud of the man I am, you know, that sort of thing. And it's like... I think most people would say, like, yeah, you could have either interpretation. And I'd just be like, I don't know, man. Like, it's it's so strange when you look at the film with the perspective of... of I suppose it can slot in with one and the other, but you just have to ask some questions, and I feel like one perspective starts to fall apart while the other one gets stronger. Because uh, I remember seeing their videos pretty... I think that's why Sargon made his video, right? He said he was spurred on by Red Alert Media's video. I can't remember why he said he... Uh... I can't remember if the timeline's right on that, but yeah, I don't know, it's, uh... It's very interesting to think about, especially because the, the main argument would be, but the director said it was a satire, and it's like, I know. <laughs> That's really bad satire, I don't know what to I mean, say. It's... Just, just to put in the pocket for the death of the author, I suppose. I don't know, I find the whole subject rather interesting. Wizard Soldier versus Saucer Soldier. Debate, go. Um, do you think they meant Sorcerer Soldier? Uh -huh. I assume Maybe. so. Wizard Soldier versus Sorcerer Soldier. I, I don't know what we can do with that, you know? I, I, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what to say. Favorite Dyson Sphere YouTube creator. I don't know. I don't know any YouTube creators that do what, Dyson Sphere. I know what a Dyson Sphere is, but I don't know what. I didn't know that was a kind of YouTuber. I had no clue. Nope. Anyone play? Anyone played Hoonie Pop One or Two? I beat one. Uh, I, yeah, I, I played not. one. It was okay. Kind of disappointing. I'm guessing Frank has not. I don't know why I did it. What games again, sorry? Unipop 1 and 2? Uh, no. Uh, Rikita Laura is down to come on EFAP. Do it. It's gonna happen one day. I think I might just make it an episode where we talk about like one or two or maybe even three movies that relate to lore and just talk about him. You know, like the Shad one we did, but with a guy who's a lawyer instead. Because we can't exactly talk about weapons with a lawyer because they're all nerdy and stuff. But, um, we'll figure out something. A 10 hour review of Space Jam seems topical now. There probably is one, isn't there? I I'd imagine at this point. Probably. Long form on the long rise, which is long good. Everyone Google long COVID. Even diseases think EFAP is too toxic. <laughs> Maybe long COVID is the good one. Um, Might be. I'm just not sure. I don't know. Rags, you were on the on the wizard debate, bonk. 
Oh, you're wrong on the wizard debate. Damn. What even? I don't even know. What was my perspective? <laughs> I don't fucking remember. But I, I have it on good authority that you were wrong, so. Hmm. Screw Bucky. Battlestar is a cool name. Also, he didn't laugh when Steve was Captain America. Um... I guess it's kind of hard to say at this point because like, I can't imagine... I'm, I'm obviously... I've heard it already, but like... If you were faced with the option for two superhero names in a world with zero reference to any of that sort of thing, and your choices were Captain America or Battlestar, which would you go for? Hmm. I think I'd probably go with Battlestar because I'd probably argue Captain America sounds a little, uh... I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I think that our Captain America has sort of made that name not weird and cringe when it yeah. otherwise would have been, you know? Yeah, so I guess I agree with that, kind of. Three Medal of Honors is absurd. Only 90 people have ever won two. One of them was Marine General and Legends, Medley, Butler, and World War One. Yeah, it is absurd. And you can point out that. I think we did. But then you have to move forward with that being true. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It shouldn't yeah. have been possible, but now you have to actually look at Walker and the, the world around him as though he's actually gotten that many uh, Medals of Honor. That's just how it works. Um, and nobody treats him that way. And he doesn't really act that way. Uh, I mean... Like, he's super emotional. Which, I guess, isn't something that would preclude you from getting a Medal of Honor. It just doesn't seem quite right. Like, um, he should have, like, enormously incredible control over himself in battle to know exactly what decisions to make at what times. But, um, I don't know. It's it's just, uh, it's more so frustrating that people don't seem to give a fuck that he's gotten that, and it doesn't earn him anything. Medals of Honor used to mean something, damn it. I think that was the line when you got really angry. It was like, do you know who I am? I like, no. Yeah, it was at that point we realized, oh, they're just going to turn him into an angry person. Yeah. You should have asked him to be his swim buddy. Do not know what the context of that one's for. Um, hello all my wingmen. Oh yeah, they got offended when he... He called him a wingman. He said he would cap's wingman. Whatever. It's true, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just change your name to Drop Table Users. I'm, uh, I'm not sure about that one. Not, not, not sure what's happening. Can't imagine dating when plus 50% of women, lib women, report having at least one mental illness per Pew Research. Uh, Interesting. That, is that true? Like, I don't know. You know what? Maybe that just spices up the love life. I don't know. I'm an Alabama wingman, Maybe. and I want to be free hell with a W double ACP. Also high rags. Hello. I, I don't know what to make of any of that. Wingman, I want to be free hell with a W doubled ACP. I am an Alabama wingman. Hmm. Alright. IT crowd had better understanding of the internet than this show does. Deleting yourself from the internet. Good grief. Have a good week, Massives. Wait. Did someone delete themselves from the internet in uh, Falcon of the Winter Soldier? Or were we talking about Age of Ultron? I can't remember. Um... Well, yeah, I just I just can't remember what uh, what that's a reference to. Ross, one Medal of Honor. Walker, three Medals of Honor. Referencing Civil War. I wonder how Rhodes would have felt about Walker. Where's War Machine anyhow? That would have been a way more interesting uh, interaction to have. I think Rhodey and Walker. Um, maybe we'll get it in future. I don't know. After Sam gets. Sam gets, Lamar is like, 
thought I was your wingman. Oh, well, I don't think Lamar would care about that because he's asking for more wingman. You can have more than one. Black Crow Kaka. Stay out of the Kaka! parking lot. Um, alright. One of these ones is just like. Because that's not an emote, that's just a weird thing being said. Uh, Falcon is a kiunt for getting mad at the kid after he calls Bucky White Panther. I don't even remember that happening. Kid called pa Bucky White Panther. I remember having a discussion about him being called White Wolf or whatever. Uh, yeah, I we, guess I never read too far into that. Can we call Fringy Black Fringy? No, Green Fringy. Yeah, it would be green. It would be Green Fringy, because he's green. Uh, remember in Civil War, Bucky tanked past Tony, Natasha, T'Challa, and Steve with ease, but in this show he's outmatched by a Wakandan guard lady? Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're just the best. They're really good. First Avenger or Winter Soldier? Which is better? Discuss. First Avenger. Uh, First Avenger. First Avenger's like first Winter half Soldier's is really bad. pretty damn strong from what I remember. Very straightforward. I believe one vial was stolen when Steve got the serum, and he also gave a few vials of blood to help reverse engineer a copy of the serum. That one vial getting stolen got, um, unstolen though, didn't it? Because he grabbed the guy, and then the guy took a suicide pill. I don't think, uh, they managed to steal it after. I have to rewatch First Avenger. Um... Another huge. The guy who made the new serum was told by the US that after the alien blip didn't care about the serum anymore. Oh right, yeah, he says like production had to halt because he was blipped. And it's like wouldn't whoever's organizing this project have just gotten a different scientist? Or is he well they do say like he's the only one that can do it, which I don't really believe, to be honest with you. Especially if um it's a scientific process. So you can obviously teach people it, and if they don't have them under cameras, with scientists watching him, it's kind of like Breaking Bad, where you can learn Walt's process, and when people do, Walt becomes less special. Um, and you'd think they would have sorted that out as a contingency or something, I don't know. You probably think he had a lab assistant, I don't know. Maybe he did what he could to make sure that he was the only one who knew it to keep himself valuable. I feel like if you're dealing with the organization that we were told he was dealing with, which at the time was, I guess, the government. Um, I can't remember anymore. Is it... Is it the government or is it Madripoor? He's in He's in Madripoor when he's doing it, right? Yeah. I have to give it the L rewatch. Um, what you're explaining is what happened at Tusk Tuskegee? This was World Skeegee. War II... Tuskegee? I don't know. This is World War II segregation was still around. MLK didn't happen for about 20 years later. Um, I'm afraid I've lost the context on what that's a response to. Um, the general public didn't know who the original Ant-Man, the original The Wasp, or the Captain of Marvel were. What the fuck is this show? Um, Sorry, I'm on again. Sorry, I'm, I'm back. Uh... So the general public didn't know who the original Ant-Man, Wasp, or Captain Marvel were. The fuck is this show? Yeah. But what does that have to do with the show? The problem, I can't figure it yeah. out. I mean, you're right. Most people don't know who the original Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, or, um... Who was the other one? <laughs> oh, right. Well, wait. Original Captain Marvel? There is no original Captain Marvel in the MCU. No. Um... Oh, but are they talking in-universe, or, like, in terms of the world, you know, us, meta? Oh, I assume they were talking about in-universe, because they were- obviously Ant-Man was around as Michael Douglas. Yeah. And so was the Wasp. Oh, I see. I getcha. Yeah. And yeah, those- those hadn't gotten any, uh... That's what I mean, man. The more you expand it and- and realize, like, all this covert shit was happening everywhere with billions of organizations, and- and then when their movie rolls around, they're suddenly really fucking stupid and can't keep secrets. Uh, 
Yeah, as soon as the cop car scene was over, I immediately dropped the show and cancelled my dog shite plus subscription. <laughs> I hear that a lot whenever one of these shows comes out. People are like, I'm cancelling my subscription. And like, yet their subscription numbers keep growing every quarter. Not just that, just yeah. why are you why were you subscribed up to this point? Haven't you seen the other things they put out? <laughs> like, if if that's enough it's for you to unsubscribe, own, I mean. And I got everyone's got their own personal breaking points, I suppose. So Bucky had Atla dialogue for the therapy scene. He says a lot of how he's feeling directly. It's kind of annoying, but they only had what time for two therapy scenes, so. Uh, it's not like they had six hours to work with. A lot of shows do the thing where they, they give one therapy scene per episode and it usually relates to the current dramas, but it's also building yeah. toward a big payoff of some kind. But we just rush through that shit. As a white guy who got frisked by a cop for weapons and doesn't hate cops, it annoys me when people use these mundane interactions with cops as examples of racism. Um... You can bump into pieces of shit people um, and they can make it about race or whatever. It's just that it, uh... Unfortunately, it can feel very pandery, um, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, yeah, it just feels a little bit hollow in the show anyway. A little bit. It's not like that scenario couldn't be presented in a way that makes sense in a story. Yeah, they, a they present it in such a ludicrous way that it just is like, what do you, what do you, this is, ugh. I can see the strings. Yeah, it hurts your yeah. message, if anything, because people think it has to be cartoonish for that to happen. Uh, finally, remember this meme. John Walker's intro is the embodiment of the new guy meme of 2020, all the way up to Sam and Bucky's attitude toward him. What do you mean, like, they introduce a character and it's like, look how shit this guy is, and we're all like, this guy's kind of cool. I like this He's guy. He's really nice. He's actually kind of great. I mean, he doesn't do anything wrong, like, socially, and they're, they're, they're fucking cruel and bullshit to him just because he's been given the task by the government to help people. You know what I mean? Like, when you broaden it out like that, it, oh, it makes it really hard to like Sam and and, uh, and Bucky, but the show is completely unaware that that's even happening, or it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Like, no, the audience will side with Sam and Bucky every time. We know this. So I was shooting aliens and outriders who wanted to eat my friends and realized, are they evil? Maybe I'm misunderstanding them. Are they black? I, I I don't know. I've never played the games. I wouldn't know. But, um... Hey, there's plenty of opportunity to misunderstand the intentions of an alien force. Uh, we saw this in Vietnam. I didn't get any reaction for that. That's such a great reference. Mm. Nah, okay, that's just... good enough. Um, I just watched Alien 3. I love it and despise it at the same time. Help, long man. Tell me your opinion on the movie so I know how to feel. <laughs> uh, there's a lot I like about Alien 3. Um, but premise is... It just pisses all over aliens for some reason. Like, sorry, two of the cool characters you like who meant a lot to Ripley are just dead now. Yeah. Um, short list of people who have tried to move borders to varying degrees of success. Vladimir Putin, Saddam Hussein, Adolf Hitler. I'm sure the list goes on much further than that. Mm. Build back the Great Wall better matters. What a slogan. It's confusing. A little bit. When Thanos snapped half all living beings away, didn't that include half our food, like cows, chickens, veggies, etc.? Wouldn't we be back at Apparently. square one with half the resources and half the people? No, Apparently no, no, no. But no, we don't talk about We wouldn't about be that. back at square one. We would be square fucked at that point. Yep, it's just over. Half the people and half the food sources collapse. We're screwed. We're already having enough trouble preserving yeah. all the different We're food people. industries as they even come close well, to operating yeah it's just we ooh. can't operate it half the people it's like the econ like the unemployment rate is not 50 percent you know there's a reason for that <laughs> um they control banks careful falcon yeah we should cancel him 
Uh, please watch Teen Titans Go to the movies after the DCEU. It would be a good palate cleanser. Um, well, I don't know what we did for a palate cleanser after the, the, I would because we were on like a DC break, but um, yeah, we still got we got a whole bunch coming. It's on there on the way. Yeah, because we're mostly up to date except for Shazam. Um, I think so. Yeah, think Shazam's the only one we need to do, right? I believe so. Yeah. Which is crazy because you'd think, well, it would have been more by now, right? If not for the delays. Um. Yeah, it would have been probably. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Wow. Be right uh, back in the loo real quick. One moment. Blind man are bad because boring and not scary. Fair enough. I don't want to seem cynical, but I feel like I have to ask. Do you think any of this garbage writing will fade away at all? We'll always nah. have garbage writing. Well, there will always be bad writing, yeah. It, I, I know it sounds kind of like what, but... Good. You can't have good writing without bad writing anyway, so... <laughs> like It's just hard to be good in any creative enterprise, I think. Yeah, there's, there is no industry of any kind that doesn't have more bad than good. I, I don't understand how that's even... It's just, that's just the nature of... Because a lot of the scales are going to be created by the potential for human ability, like... Exactly. Everything gets scaled down, uh, or up, depending on how we're doing, really, but... Um, or rather, just the, the scale itself will move. Um, because, like, what is the worst movie ever? And I think we, we draw mm -hmm. the bottom at, like, you know, it has to be viewable, I guess. And the, At least. The, the best. It's just like there's just not many that get to be in that um, election. Or maybe this is where it depends on how we're looking at the scale because, like, at the same time, you could have very few in that selection, or like millions. And you're like, wait, how? And it's like, well, because the best are just whatever scores the highest or does achieves the greatest mm -hmm. or is the most popular. And, and of those, we have plenty. It's yeah. just, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, if the question were more so, is 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 mainstream uh, sci-fi and fantasy ever going to be as good as it was in different instances of time, or uh, the IPs like Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, and all that stuff? It's just like, I don't know, man. I think uh, it's a bit stacked against something like Marvel at the moment, just by virtue of the way that these things are made. I don't know why I said by virtue of instead of because. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know. It's probably going to be really hard to like consistently deliver good results when you've got such a tight timetable. So much information is sort of kept from uh, individual creators. Um, it needs to make a lot of money because it's massive, like multi-million dollar productions, and that probably just limits the amount of risks you can take. Um, and, and yet, if I, we had. Ten more years of things that are as bad as Loki, and then the trailer for Moon Knight dropped, we'd still probably be like, whoa, maybe this one will be good. Yeah, there's always potential. Whether that's well-founded, you know. <laughs> uh, Walker needed scenes failing as Cap, having the GOV, or the government, Criticizing him, becoming unpopular, damaging his marriage, leading to him being desperate for the serum, not being seduced like Gollum in the ring. They do <laughs> rush that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, doesn't he like he loses a fight and then he's like, I want serum now. Yeah, like he didn't even stand a chance. He's like, I'm going to get the serum where it would have been more interesting if it was presented as I need to use the serum. I am Captain America. I need to I need to be able to do this. Everybody's counting on me. Yeah, That'd be more interesting. what they're talking about, like having, you know, general public saying like, you're no, you're not Captain America, you're just like a bad imitation, and then government being mad at him for failing missions, his friends being like, the ones that save him in these mm -hmm. fights, and yeah, all stuff like that, and then yeah, straining his marriage, that would be, that could be great, and he's like, I need that serum, like, I, I just... Well, you know, he, he takes it without us being told overtly, and he starts doing much better. Uh, yeah, just just a bit more of a yeah. character study. Be nice. When Falcon said to Bucky, "You've got names in those books, and I'm sure some of those names only you can give closure." I actually said this show thinks I'm an idiot. Um, the, the shows do think you're an idiot. 
We know that's true, but um, he's talking about he has to go and speak to people whose family members he's killed, right? Yeah. Which, well, yeah, um, the book. Yeah. You wonder about that being like is that government sanctioned? Has he been? Do they know he's doing that? Because the is. I don't even there know. Was, there are issues that may stem from that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that prison riot was a perfect metaphor for Twitter, and Bucky making a troll tweet making two check marks start fighting. Okay. Let's see what you mean. <laughs> I came to hate Sam's smug face. Um, Sam throughout the MCU's always considered himself to be right, I think. He, uh, to be fair, when you team up with Cap, you're probably going to feel a little righteous. Hmm. Fortunately, he's very wrong in his show a lot of the time. Uh, when you lots, what's you lots' favorite internet argument line? I was arguing league law when the guy hit a dead end. He went, "This is gonna be great when the next law wave hits in ten years, and you're all wrong." <laughs> wow, commitment right there. Favorite that, that, internet argument line? I, I don't know if they just mean like. I don't know, one of the stupidest things people have said during arguments? Uh, uh, oh gosh, off the top of my head? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's, it's worth uh, incinerating a million people if it means ending slavery. <laughs> oh yeah, like... the Yezin thing, yeah. That was fun. That's just one of those ones where it's like, how the hell was that the thing you guys were talking about? It's like... Well, did you watch yeah, Game of Thrones? Yeah, like, <laughs> they were better off for Daenerys. Um, the comic Flag Smashers got destroyed by Deadpool like three times, and one of them was because they were embarrassed of getting beat by a clown and went after his daughter. Oh, they felt like Deadpool was a clown? I guess? Alright. Uh, hmm. I guess so, because... Quite the clown. I mean, the way I mean, he's funny, I guess. But... Yeah, he probably makes some jokes, and they're like, "You're, you're a clown." You're a clown. Kind of, yeah. I mean. Yes, I understand. You know. Maybe that's a stereotype clowns appreciate. Like, we are funny. Yeah, we yeah. are funny. Yeah, we're definitely not creepy. You know, we put a lot of work into our craft. I put on the suit. I wear the nose. Isn't there that horror movie called Clown where the guy's gradually becoming a clown? I, I don't know. Some people's careers? I'm sure it's metaphorical. Uh, the anime Black Lagoon showed how a lawless city would work better than this. You might enjoy Black Lagoon. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. You massives, I'm trying to catch up. I started when you were at episode 80-ish from episode 1, and now I'm at episode 67. Stupid long man. Oh, well. Not my fault. It's true, it is not our fault. Uh, Spider-Man showing up in the finale would go well to how he tired he is in Far From Home. I rags, hashtag I walk with Walker. Yeah, Walker's great. Um, bringing in Spider-Man at the end, that was a theory, right? Like... Th there was, there was buzz about that potentially happening in Falcon the Winter Soldier. Um, but it didn't happen. As for it playing into Far From Home, um, fuck, I can't even remember the timeline anymore. I guess Far From Home is after, because Falcon Winter Soldier is six months after Endgame, isn't it? Yeah, I can't keep track of it anymore. Neither can I. Hi Mola, EFAP, and hi Rags. Hey. Hello. Hey. Live down under, so often miss the streams. Want to show my support? Also, suggestion for EFAP movies: Jupiter Ascending. It's a trip, man. <laughs> that could uh, be we've heard that as a recommendation. I definitely already, watch that for EFAP movies. It's already in our backlog slash uh, to do. Uh, Jupiter Ascending is definitely an EFAP movies movie. We'll probably have YMS on for that because. Sure he finds oh yeah, he did a review that was uh, really funny. <laughs> that. Um, how did no one guess brown table sexual harassment? See, I have no clue what that's referencing. Like, nope. Uh, it's, were we guessing? Is it, I, I, I got nothing. Is the boat subplot a Forrest Gump reference? Maybe. I can tell you. 
No, I think they just really felt like that was the what they needed to do to stress the familial situation of this character and their money issues and stuff, and so that's what they decided to do with that. Now how does a bank not account for the blip? How? Because the writers are retarded. Well, if you remember, there's like a line about how they have, but then that just does it just doesn't happen. Like it... Because it's shit. Uh, wow, the only thing that occurred to me in this scene was, is Anthony Mackie playing two actual Marvel characters now? Plus this bounty never gets followed up. I'm going broke in here. Is the implication there that he's so not Falcon that he, he's playing it's two It's not Falcon characters. anymore, I guess, yeah. It's just some... Guy. Well, it's like, he, he is a prop for the story that we want to tell, and who cares what his story was up until this point. Yeah, pretty much. Because it, it just never... I just never pulled that from that scene in Endgame, that, like, that was a thought on his mind. I thought it was a pretty straightforward, oh, this is, like, a huge responsibility for anybody to take on, and I'll do my best. Not that I'm... I can't, because of my... Uh, yeah, I don't My know. being black. Is it, you kind of yeah, a black a, man holding I, that shield, okay? I, it yeah, was we'll just never them. even a doubt. It was just never. It was never a thing in my mind of like, oh yeah, that is going to be a problem for him. I was like, why? So I, I never <laughs> thought he was such a fucking racist. Well, I think that if it were made like 2012 ish, where Avengers were made, um, I don't think they would have gone that direction at all. Probably not. They would have gone the more normal route of just, uh, oh, it's a difficult mantle to live yeah, up to, like but I'll Kenny, try. And he hold up not only in the abilities of, but the uh, the values of. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the the obvious way to go is like you may not have held up Steve's values, but you're holding up your values, which are mm -hmm. be exactly. And yeah, maybe those values are more relevant to the time that we live in. Yeah, like you can make it so he's facing challenges that Steve may have dealt with differently or something, but not necessarily in the in the wrong or right. You know, there's plenty of interesting things to do, but instead they went that way, and then they did it really yeah. poorly. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a Texas wedding. What's that? That's related to. Wow, guys, teenagers have been yeah, shooting no. at each other for eons, and it's really concerning that you didn't, that you imply there should be some kind of legal intervention. Is there a part where teenagers are shooting each other in this show? <laughs> I completely forgot. Well, I mean, because they said Carly was a teenager, right? But I guess she wasn't shooting other teenagers, was she? Was she a teenager? I can't remember. I think she was like 19. I'm pretty sure Sam called her a teenager. Like, oh, next time you're not going to have to be dealing with like a teenager or be someone um, even more of insane or, or like more capable. Who's he saying that to? Oh, he, when he was doing a speech about how they oh. got to do better. Well, but they already dealt with they, Zemo was the one before her, technically. Yeah, like, and you, they, yeah. Which he's like a fucking forty-year-old, so. And also, I guess it's just annoying to downplay the amount of damage Carly did. She killed a lot of people. She nearly killed all the senators. Yeah, and remember, her reasoning was just violence is all that they listen to, or whatever. Yeah, it's like, oh, I understand. Like, you know what? I doubt that's true. Um. But hey, not I'm so glad not you true. Just it's just that democracy. it makes her look awful. That like, if you had had scenes where she they're trying to break in, they get caught, and then someone like pulls a gun on her and she shoots them before they shoot her. That sort of stuff. That's one thing. Yeah. Yeah, but instead they have her like she's tied these they people up, and then up. she fucking blows them up. It's like, Damn. Yeah, you had what you wanted. The threat was neutralized. You did not need to do this, but you did, just because it's awful. She's a villain. A horrible person. Yeah. Sharon got blipped, apparently. No, she didn't, right? No, she didn't. How could she have? She didn't, and then she... Because she said that uh, everyone left her behind, which is fucking baffling, by the way. Yeah, that everybody just abandoned her. And even Falcon, like, apologizes for that, and it's like, I'm... I, 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 so... You want me to believe that just, everyone just forgot she existed? How... Even ugh. though she was super helpful in Civil War. You, like... It's only lampshading in a well, it's meta lampshading in the fact that the writers forgot about it. Obviously, the writers Unless did. They there didn't is some remember. Big reveal or something that she's like a scroll or whatever. I don't. It wouldn't matter if she's a scroll. They forgot about it. They did. That's true. Actually, yeah. <laughs>
Is Coom the greatest re retroactive meme? Watching old EFAPs, and whenever someone says come, I think of Jay and Metal and then laugh at the brilliance. Come. <laughs> um, I mean, Metal and Jay are pretty brilliant, I will say. Um, it would be great social commentary if a random black dude showed up and the bartender also assumed that he was Smiling Tiger and then a third and a fourth. Oh, that was so fucking stupid, too. He, like... He doesn't look or sound anything like this other person, but he wears similar clothing, and apparently that's enough to pass. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, did he look I can't, like... I remember there being something weird he about him. He sort of looked like him, I think. Which is incredibly convenient. Is is You can't win with that, right and wise. If he looks like him, that's retarded in terms of just, like, luck. But then if he doesn't look like him, then you shouldn't be able to get away with it, so... Why did you have to write it that way? Why couldn't you have just said you were all visiting fucking billionaires, you know? Also Winter Soldier. Oh, remember when they will record that on phones when he beats a whole bunch of people up and that doesn't have any consequence at all? Mm. When we were all talking about how that's gonna, like, that Presumably would fuck up. it would, yeah. Well, look, if the government find out that Winter Soldier is beating the fuck out of people, potentially to death, in Madripoor, which, by the way, what are even yeah. the laws in Madripoor? Was it lawless? I think claimed to be lawless. It was, it was lawless. Yet there was a ton of infrastructure. Um, well, we basically yeah. said like the there's no fucking way. City, no yeah. fucking way. There's no laws. That's not a. You're not getting away with that. There's got even if no it's mob rule. There's, there's oh, laws. the laws would have to be. The laws would have to be at the very least that there is a recognized state with territory. Like, how are you lawless but have recognized borders? That this is the city of Madripoor. Yeah, and that's the thing. If um, it wouldn't matter if he's doing it there or not, they, they would just be like, you, "You're going around hurting people. You've breached your uh, whatever yeah. fucking." That's the other thing. They didn't explain to us what rules that Bucky was out on. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, the person who should even have advocated for all of that would have been Cap. And we just didn't see any of it. No, nope. because he's gone. I don't know if that means he's dead or not, though. Nobody does. Not even the writer. Um, YouTube, The Final Frontier. These voyages of the podcast EFAP, it's five-year mission to explore strange new rats, to seek out new scripts and new themes, to boldly go where no massive has gone before. Oh, people have been to some of the places we're going, but... You know, maybe we'll find something new. Some stinky. We'll probably be going for more than five years. We're up to four soon. I think, right? Yeah, soon-ish. A few months. Well, I looked it up. Far From Home makes even less sense now because Falcon and Winter Soldier takes place months before it. Why didn't Talos call up Sam and Bucky? Um, I'm not sure how much Sam and Bucky are going to be able to do with the elementals. Yeah. Um. Like, what, are you going to shoot him? <laughs> I don't know. And then, of course, you do have, like... Maybe, I don't know, I'd have to check continuity, but presumably they're on missions, I don't know. I don't even know who Talos, like, wh what the hierarchy of organizations are in relation to Fury and government and, you know, all that, basically. That's a little, uh, hard to say right now, yeah. Is Fury beholden to the American government, or is he beholden to, like, Cosmos people? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Uh, hey Jim, what are the consequences of the Flash's time travel? Jim? Jim? I actually don't know. Yeah, because that was something that... I felt, we, we, well, we felt was missing from, uh... Flash's big moment, right? The one that uh, everyone loves. Yeah. There's nothing for him to lose, so why not? Mm-hmm. Like, what does it mean to break a rule if the rule doesn't, like, what do you lose by breaking it? This is the thing, it's, it's, it's all spectacle because the equivalent, if you remove all of the spectacle, is... Oh, by the way, the Flash has an auto-win button. May as well press it. Yeah, it's not even an auto-win, it's a retro, you didn't actually lose button. It's, <laughs> you, it's insane. Yeah, if you press in case you lose, because then you didn't. Um, and then, of course, the comparison to Tony in, in Iron Man, he can... Sacrifice himself to get rid of that nuke. Uh, and there's no reason to have thought he was going to make it back, but he did. Mm. Uh, it's a very different thing. And that's the thing, if, um, that's all they need is, is a line where it's like, 
if I do it for too long, it'll it'll tear me apart, you know. Something. And, uh, and then as he's as he's running, you can see him like in pain, maybe even some effects regarding like his skin or whatever. But he just gets there, and when he when he does it and comes out of the whole thing, everyone's like saved, and he's just like on the floor, and they go, "Oh God, Barry, are you okay?" You know, and they can. You know, they can bait us for a minute as to whether or not he's, he's made it. Mm -hmm. just, that's the most normal way to have done that payoff. Instead, he's just like, I did it. We win. I step more. And do you remember the reaction to that scene? Everyone was like, we were robbed. This was incredible. When, like, I don't think Joss Whedon would be able to make that scene. The amount of CGI they've gone because the Justice League CGI was already garbage, but um, the payoff doesn't even match the way that the uh, the reset scenes would have worked. But, um, yeah. I think Justice League was terrible too. Limited resources, so Thanos was right. Wouldn't that be funny? Thanos versus Kali. <laughs> She'd win. Don't, She'd don't win. <laughs> Hey Jim, quick thing. What do you think of the consequences of Flash's time travel? Who's who's Jim? What, what's happening? Who is Jim? I legitimately don't know who Jim is. And someone else said Jimothy. What are the consequences of Flash's time travel? Maybe this was some kind of meme, and I've completely forgotten what it was. Maybe I legit cannot remember. You lie. Turkish delight is six out of ten. Not worth selling your family out for. I mean, I, I like Turkish delight. You guys like it? Yeah, I, I like it. I've never had one. Oh. Um, kind of neat. Yeah. Maybe six out of ten really does kind of match how I feel about them, actually. <laughs> they're, they're okay. Like they're not. They're not at the top. Certainly of the not. List. They're not bad. I think they're more than mid, but not much more. Yeah. Uh, what are your constitutions to Sonic's flash travel, Jim Kazama? What the fuck is happening with the super chats? Uh, does Sonic have time travel? Uh, probably speedster. <laughs> I just can't think of any examples of it off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know any of them. Uh, Shinobi made an unbridled rage on the first Jurassic Park movie to make fun of you. Um, and your terrible criticisms on Fallen Kingdom. Dude, I've had people, many people over the years, tell me that I'm completely wrong on Fallen Kingdom. That's totally fine. The Fallen Kingdom is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It is top tier garbage. It's horrific. Um, it's a joke. Like, is, soon enough we will get back into the Jurassic vibe, I imagine, when Dominion oops out. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, a lot of people liked Fallen Kingdom, apparently, which is nice. Hey, the dinosaurs were in it. Oh yeah, that's true. Should have, should have considered that in my assessment. Well, did you know that it makes sense to use dinosaurs in combat because rats were used in World War Two? Oh, <laughs> yes. no, those make sense. Yeah, of it, course. Why is it? It's such a like. <laughs> I think people listen to that like, yeah, of course, dinosaurs as weapons. Like, no. Why? Well, the, the, I, you know what? Tanks, jets pretty good and they're, they're you know they're flown by people who are like rational and you can talk to and communicate and funnily orders, enough like, uh, compared to a t-rex don't take many resources to maintain no they no you just give them a normal amount of food you put some petrol in in there and you do your maintenance on your vehicles they're expensive as an investment Ooh, that's but another I'm thing yeah sure the, human, dinosaur. <laughs> the human that comes with the jet can repair they'll they'll likely know how to do that isn't that crazy I can do things other than just fight. And <laughs> yeah. Use resources. And they're not gonna randomly try to eat you, which is nice. Yeah. Remember the fucking guy who wants to do it in the first movie? He just gets like torn apart by a Velociraptor, yeah. I think, right? Yeah, I remember, he does. The movies always feel the need to be like, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> He's getting eaten to death, you know? It's a little bit, uh... Oh, boy. Um... What are the gyms of Flash's consequences? Yeah, it's something to do with gyms. This is a meme that I have simply forgotten. 
Hey, Jiminy yeah. Christmas, what are the consequences to Flash doing the thing where he travels through time? A lot of people asking this question to Jim, and I just don't... Ah, oh, I feel bad. I guess I wouldn't want to be Jim right now, because it, it almost seems like they're making fun of him. I hope I'm not Jim. Yeah, yeah Jim. Fuck you. <laughs> uh... I know this doesn't fit here, but Flash time travel consequence is not the nightmare scene because wasn't Darkseid going to go to Earth anyway and Flash still time traveled there too to warn Bruce? Sorry. Um, I'm guessing that's a different instance of time traveling when he goes and warns Bruce, right? Yeah, that was in Batman vs Superman, you remember? Yep, I remember. And it really doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. Maybe if I'm really cryptic. Uh, it's this was yeah you were right about him fear him it's like thanks bro if that helps I'm, I'm <laughs> Batman I'm right about a lot <laughs> what yeah fear him that's an interesting way to put it isn't it Instead Superman's just... gonna take yeah. over the world and turn evil with lowest dice mm -hmm. uh, oh. I, mean, if oh. I heard that it might be like man it might be worthwhile to you to like how unstable are you <laughs> like yeah, One if, person if you said, dies, you I'm mind. from the future, Lois dies, it makes Superman go nuts. Bye. <laughs> like that's, that's, I just wanted to tell you what happens. Yeah. Hi, it's me, Barry. I can tell you something that only we'd know that would mean that you could be able to trust me if that was going to be an issue. Yeah. Like, this is a really important message, and you're really bungling it. We're the bottom of the rung. Tell that to Thanos' is snapped dust. Also, do better. <laughs> okay. You've got to do better, Thanos. Yeah. Snap them all. Well, that was what he decided after uh, he realized, hey, you know what? People actually don't like dying, so I'm just going to delete the whole universe and start over again. Jimilbo, what are the consequences of Flash's time travel? I hope he knows. Man. Maybe he's figured it out in, in the year between. I hope so. I know that if I want something done quickly and efficiently, I'll want a global government. Think about going to the DMV for the world. Um. I mean, after the blip, it makes some sense, right? The, everyone's going to want lots of policies to be enacted. And, and be, Of course. That's the funny thing about all of it, is that what the Flag Smashers want is essentially what the the government is trying to do, but they explain, like, it's very difficult. Well, yeah, of, co of course. Like, <laughs> well, it, it, I guess, how, how interesting is it, though, as well, considering that the show released in the midst of a highly disruptive global event, that, compared to what the snap was in Universe, it's like, the snap is considerably more catastrophic. Um, and yet there's, like, absolutely no consideration for how complicated it all is, the nature of, like, no. power and political institutions and upheaval and, like, what it stems from and why, and th there's just no exploration of that meaningfully. Even though it was right before you, it was, I guess it was started filming before the pandemic happened, but even, even without a pandemic, it should have been pretty clear to you that, um, that the snap is a big deal. A big deal. Much bigger deal than they made it out to be. I know this stream is going long, but can you explain the difference between a witch and a wizard? I am very confused. No, I think we I never already got an answer. answer. <laughs> yeah. just, just go to the internet. Just have a good look around. Jim Kazama. Oh, wait, we read that one. What does the milk do, Jim Flash Time Tismo Flucial? Ooh. All right. The artistry. Uh, what do you think it's the social environment of America would be like today if Obama's first act as president was to give everyone the N-word pass? Ooh, nice. I think we'd live in a better world. World peace. We'd get that out of the way. Everyone would get over it pretty quick. It'd just be part of the world. And uh, maybe it'd be great. Yeah, I'm seeing this next one, and it's, again, referencing the whole Jimmy and the Flash. And yeah, I'm, I'm lost on it. Almost certain it would have been some big meme that we were all on board with, but all of us are blanked of it. Unfortunate, but uh, yeah. yeah. It, says, it says, Jimmy, why my pee pee hurty from flashy timey? Is... Yeah, I have no idea what these are. Nope. 
Don't you get it? That would Captain? be an side effect to time travel. Like, oh yeah, I can try time travel, but my my PP really hurts after I do it, and I'd really rather not. Oh, someone made me aware of a thread today about um my Snyder Cut video, and it was a thread of counters because my video is terrible. And uh, when I said there's no consequences for using time travel, therefore there's no stakes because you can just the auto win button. They said yes, there are. He has to eat a lot when he does that. <laughs> oh, you should have. You should have just not said anything. You should have not said anything. The funny thing is that doesn't even happen in this, like. Not that I would expect him to do it, but like, he doesn't pull out a lunchbox or anything <laughs> when he's. Uh... Oh, so stupid. But yeah, he, um... like able to afford to buy food. Like, one of the steaks he needs it, to eat? Okay, what's stopping him from just doing that? And it doesn't seem to be the kind of, I need to eat that, you know, he's like dying until someone gives him a chocolate bar or something. He just seems yeah, to like, be like, I'm hungry well, now. Well, I mean, now we're thinking about it. What if the consequences were that his metabolism is going so fast that it starts to eat away at his, like, muscles and, um... That would be great, because it would be... You know? Be really he's actually deteriorating. And then that might be more meaningful, because it means that he might need to trade his life to do this. And also that he would need to be fast enough to get there in time before, like, you know, he withers away. That would be a meaningful steak, not, oh, I need to eat a steak. God damn, that was a lot of energy. I just burnt there. Oh no, I need to eat a steak. What's the thing, in terms yeah. of uh, repairs, this is this is an easy one because it's just like, why didn't you do this? This, this payoff has happened a million times where to save the world it's going to cost your life. Or it might. You don't know yeah. that it won't. Like, that's, that's so normal. What are you doing? And I actually think that because of the meta of film, if I may say, um, that a lot of people probably interpreted that scene that way when they had, there was no reference to any of that. You know, like he's desperately just trying to get to the location he needs to go because he needs to touch the, the, the cube, right? That's, that's the, how it ends. Something, he touches something at the end. No, wait, that's the first time he does it. What does he do at the end of this one? In the finale? I can't remember. He, he like reforms the path as he's running and then... He rewinds time is the important part, of course. Because even Superman got disintegrated, it was it was super scary. Don't you get it? Captain America is one for one with Superman, and since Cap didn't travel the world 24-7, saving every single human being all the time, he's a horrible human. I again raggled. Hello. One for one with Superman. Like the 19th, uh, the, the original, when he turns back time by spinning around the or are they just saying that he's a parallel? You know, they're both kind of meant to be the, uh, like, Paragon heroes. I guess so, but, obviously, one of them's powers are a little more than the other. Mm-hmm. Uh, why be the Flash through Jim's time? Nope, no idea. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Why are we Jim? Just to suffer? What? Ugh. I picture this going to be a top comment on this catch-up that's like, they forgot the gym meme? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we did. We <laughs> forgot the gym meme. Uh, it just eludes me. Time travel. What are consequences? Flash using gym. These are all real super chats. I don't know if th I just... <laughs> <laughs> And why did they come up with a Falcon Woods soldier? Yeah, I don't know. There must have been some conversation we had about Jim, the Flash, oh, and some other stuff. Is the gyms of the Flash do limits? Why are the consequences of time? Hmm. Nope. Got nothing for you. Yeah, I don't know what to say. So lost. Um, the gym is how it be to Flash. The quote. Nothing on that one either. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Jim Hopper, Mac, cut him down, Dutch. A predator reference that involves the word Jim. Alright. I, I get that one. Half of it, anyway. Um, I'm really proud of this community and Jim's answer to Flash's time travel consequences. Jim's maybe Jim's like a super chatter or something, maybe? maybe? Oh, it could be. That could make sense. I was about to say, is there someone we've covered with the name someone Jim? Someone in chat or someone in... Yeah, maybe someone in chat said something, said some comments about it, and we highlighted it. We talked about it, perhaps. Now people are giving Jim the, the time. Uh, 
Do you guys missed out? Isaiah says the nurse declared him dead to escape. No way the government just lets the dead body go missing, they'd test it. I thought she had a fake body or something. Someone else is asking us about that in these super chats. I'd have to check again, but uh, it's not just that they wouldn't let a dead body go. They wouldn't let the dead body of a fucking Captain America clone. Captain America like, super soldier. Super you don't soldier, know yeah. what you can do with that blood or, you know, any anything. And also just, you know, secrecy. He's a very special body well. at that point. Yeah. Every night I beat off to the thought of Jim answering what the consequences of Flash's time travel are. Mm. Alright. I hate how Bucky has the attitude of someone raised in the modern day and not like someone raised in the 30s and 40s. They never Very quite um, absent, um, utilize sure. any of that, no. To be fair, his... His life has been... is a little bit unclear. What we know is that he was woken back up at several points in history, right? Yeah, but only to do missions. No, of course, but it's just, uh, what even is the mind of a person at that point? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is, like, a total mess. And it deserves I mean, a, a better lot of focus. Show, we would have, yeah. uh, in a better show, we would have gotten this kind of exploration. Um, Jim, release the consequence cut of Justice League. I agree. Mm. I hate how well, Bucky... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, of all the IPs out much. there, this is the that should handle socio-political issues, but it really drops the ball technically, undermining any significant message. Didn't have to uh, do that if they wanted to focus mainly on, like, Bucky and Falcon as people in this world without being a backdrop, but it did seem like they wanted to make that a focus. And it's like, all right, then. Let's do it. And then they did it horribly. Well, yeah, because if you're going to make it a focus, you can't, like, half ass it. You need to meaningfully explore a lot of these geopolitical consequences and everything. But it's like, you want to get points for dabbling in it, but you don't want to put in the work that's necessary to fully explore these themes. Pretty annoying. Yeah, and super soldiers are becoming a dime a dozen. Yeah, like, well, I mean, at this point, when we talk about scaling in the MCU, like, the number of incredibly powerful agents in this world... Like, considerably fewer really powerful agents warranted the Sokovia Accords. Now, it's like, who, who have we added since then? Like, Captain Marvel, who was, like, one of the most, if not the most powerful people in the MCU. Who was, like, active in the, somewhat active in the affairs of Earth. Yeah. Um, I guess Doctor Strange has sort of become more known in that time. No, he was after Civil War, actually, yeah. And he's, like, one of the most powerful beings in that world. Of course, like, Wanda, stuff to do with her was kind of what prompted the Accords in the first place, and she's even white. She's, like, <laughs> she's immensely more powerful than she was back then. Um, and there's probably a bunch of them even forgetting. Well, and then I guess as well, it's like, well, how do we... Now that we know that Wakanda is a highly advanced civilization, like, what is their role now that they want to integrate more into, you know, the broader landscape? They kind of tease that at the end of Black Panther, but we haven't seen anything about it since. Like, it's as if they don't exist. <laughs> Again. Well, imagine how much worse everything's going to be made by uh, Black Panther 2 when they try and establish what Wakanda's doing in relation to the world. There's, um, plus, there's no way they're going to handle that well. Atlantis, plus Atlantis, apparently. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, God. We've got too much. Too much. Yeah, a little bit. And then once we got... Now we've got Egyptian gods are real and Greek gods are real. <laughs> it's just... Uh... Um, hashtag Jim knows no consequences. All right. Because of the Hail Hydra scene in Endgame, shouldn't Hydra think Cap is Hydra agent and B no Cap knows there are agents in Shield and be more wary of him, making the elevator scene in Winter Soldier dumb? A different timeline now. I guess that's how they dance to that. Obviously, they tell us that as long as they put the stones back in, everything goes back to normal, which is just not at all how that would work. Uh, no, because you, you've, you've made changes, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know All how you All of them think Cap is that. fucking pro-Hydra, like, in the Avengers, yeah. in 2012, like, that's gonna fuck everything up. Well, uh, unless we're meant to presume that the TBA somehow fixed it, but then the problem is that <laughs> the Avengers were completely oblivious to the TBA's existence as a- And it also means, I guess, the- like, it, it keeps contradicting itself, because it's like, is the Ancient One correct? Is Bruce correct? Is, like, who's who's right on, like, how the 
a time travel actually works. Just don't think about it. That's, that's it. Just don't think about it. That's not fun, though. Don't think about it. It's it's cool when you can think about it, and it just sort of expands and balloons and gets more interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know what they are, Jim. I know the truth. All right. Uh, well. Hello to anyone I'm sure still that in made the call. Sense a year ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but especially Ruggles. That's nice. Oh hi. I'd like to nominate the Planet of the Apes movies for EFAP movies after you do the war movie series you got planned. Oh yeah, that's that's still well on the way, isn't it, Rex? Mm-hmm. <laughs> still getting there. You don't you worry, it's cooking. Um When Jim Oh well sorry, uh, as for Planet of the Apes, do they mean the Tim Burton? Which one? Because I could see that working maybe for EFAP movies, but I don't know about the, the three I don't know about the old ones or the new ones. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but, uh, we'll see. When Jim arose from the mud, he knew the answers. We need to tell us. We need him to tell us. Okay. Alright. Sorry if this is a repeat, but, uh, the Dora Milaje sound like a hotel name. Kinda. Sort of, yeah. Um, remember when Black Panther was arrested in Civil War for interfering with foreign affairs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's just not how it works anymore. This is what I mean. That was part of what was annoying me about that scene was like, your Wakandan leaders would be pissed off if you were doing this, by the way. Surely. So what exactly? Do the Dora Milaje just not give a shit about anyone else? They rule themselves? Uh, Do they not yeah. have a, a king? What is what is T'Challa thought, up to at that point? Well, yeah, are, are they just free? They can sort of do whatever they want, and there's no oversight from within their own. Man, it feels weird because like T'Challa was in favor of the Accords. Yep. <laughs> Miss Longbow, new manifestation of awesome. Hi. I'm Here sure it comes. she appreciate that. No, there was no. Oh wait, they don't parts. want her to like no. fart or anything. No. no. Oh. She has fans that don't want her to do fighting or whatever, I think. You know, we're them, in a way. non fart related fans. I call upon the power of the quote to battle the gym of the limit. Alright. Remember the back of the limit. in the day when people regularly walked around with sword-like weapons displaying an empty open hand to someone in a trust movie? Is a trust movie. I Oh, trust... Maybe they meant trust That's a move. That's where we get the handshake, yeah. Mm. Oh, because um, cause Walker puts his hand out to... Um... Oh, no, wait. He puts his hand on, on his shoulder, which is too aggressive. And so she has to kill him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's she a throws great a scene. In his face. Yeah. Like they, but they, they, oh, they not only try to kill uh, him, but they also try to kill Lamar, too. Yep. And... Uh... And Bucky they're just and Falcon there quipping, yeah. enjoying it for a while. They Even though, it. yeah, I, uh, I like how when they're like, "Hey, can you not kill them?" And it's like, "Oh, damn you, damn you, Bucky, for interfering." It's like, yeah, they what? they condemn him for that. It's like, what? Huh. It's like, yeah, how can you possibly condemn them for that? You attacked them for no reason. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a grace. It's a. It is assault. To put your hand on the, on the shoulder. So, oh. I think they were well within their rights to execute them. Yeah, I'm sure that's Wakandan law. Like, it'll work out. Um, keep in mind the fans sent death threats to Walker's actor, but unironically enjoyed this stupid scene. Eh. Uh. That feels like one of those, are you incapable of separating reality from fantasy? He's an actor. <laughs> I don't even know what you say to that. Especially with the, the choice there of where they choose to get angry. Yeah, a little the bit show like... The told um, them to get angry at this, not the other thing. That's what they do. Hmm. Um, Lamar, I'm three days from time at Walker. Man, I love my kids. Yeah, I, well, 
I, I, I don't really have an issue with <laughs> the aspect of it, like, you know, if someone said, like, they clearly gave him to, to Walker just to kill him to make it sad, I'd just be like, I don't know, it makes sense he'd have a partner and the guy is, like, yeah, he's pretty he's normal, pretty normal guy. Yep. Uh, he got less fanfare in terms of, like, oh, man, isn't that sad than Carly, even though he was a hero. Yep. Died saving his buddy. Dominic the Donkey points out, Killmonger, a normal soldier, killed one of these Dora, yet the Dora can fight on even ground with super soldiers. Um... Well, I guess the thing is, is I always, I kind of had the impression that, like, whatever the, the Black Panther juice was, was more potent and powerful than uh, the super soldier serum. Presumably, yes, but I would also say that... But not, not she's hugely not... more so? Strictly, like like Winter Soldier didn't lose to her. She just took his arm off because she has like cheat yeah, codes. Because she can do that. Like, I, I don't. don't think... I don't really see that. It's, I don't think it's even really possible to be like, can Nat win against uh, Cap? It's like, I mean, like she's she's very competent. Um, but Cap is also very competent and a super soldier. So it's kind of, I don't know that like a normal person could ever expect to win against um anybody who's on the super soldier stuff. And uh, I don't think Walker had his super juice at that point. No, no, he didn't have his juice in that fight. So the Dora Milaje beat three soldiers, which is still something of an annoyance, but whatever. Like, because uh, Falcon, Lamar, and Walker with a shield should be able to do something, but they're all handled pretty easily by the Dora Milaje. Mm -hmm. Who probably should have Black Panther juice. I go over this in my video. It's fine. Well, well right yeah, now. it is the thing of, you have a, but now I guess there is no more Black Panther juice, right? That all the flowers got burnt. They can make up whatever they want, they can say well, they have to, one. right? Because they've got to find someone yeah, else. Yeah, the super like, soldiers. Uh, they probably wouldn't want it to be gone now, power. because they want to have their own... Well, know. they want, because when I was saying they, they got to have another one, it's like, you don't need to necessarily, um, but like, of course there's going to be another one. Um... For Mbaku, you, right? You got it. Uh, that seems to be. Yeah, it probably was going to be Shuri, but then, um. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they'll figure something out. Uh. Yep, there was some hidden in the forest. Yep. <laughs> we didn't see them before. But we're okay. Why would it even make sense for Killmonger to, like, surely if he wants Black. If he wants, like, um, Wakanda to be a persistent sort of a uh, controller of the world, wouldn't it make a lot of sense to make sure that you can continue the Black Panther lineage rather than having it end with you? What, like, why would you destroy them? Why wouldn't you more freely disseminate them? If anything, if you want to take over the world. But no, it's Culture, like, well, these, spears the will, these spears will be fine, you know? Traditionally, that's what they did, therefore they will I not do I thought he didn't care else. about tradition, really, that much. I thought he was much more pragmatic. Well, um, I, I don't know about that, but, like, you know, at least he had a goal in mind that was a lot more important than anything to do with, like, I don't know, tradition. I mean, what would... yeah. The throne room has been topped in horrendous action scenes by Fatwas. Um, I'm sure there are other terrible scenes that have been, like throne room in the interim. I can't think of them right now, but... Yeah, Marvel are really good at making terrible action scenes. I remember they that, really uh, are. In the first episode of Hawkeye, it really was like... The the fight scene was, it was like, man, this is, uh... This feels rough, even by, like, Marvel standards. I remember, like, I remember having that the impression. Of it. Their, their fight scenes are just nonsensical. Cheers, y'all. Been working 12s, and there's only one podcast that caters to my need to fill the dead air during work. Oh, nice. <laughs> and hey, it's the longer we go, the more you can just, like, be like, oh, shit, I guess, uh, when I, when I, if you did a rewatch, you'd be like, it's gonna take me a year to catch back up. And then a whole bunch of new episodes would be available, because this everything's mm -hmm. so gosh darn long. But and then you've forgotten way. about the old stuff, so you can rewatch that. And then you can dip the, the old toe into into the super chat catch up ones or the uh, the movies. Yeah, every, every, the, the the most watched ones are the main podcasts. But branding must be a thing, you know. 
Wolka did nothing wrong. I mean, you could probably tweak some of the, the actions he takes, but uh, I defend the sentiment. Certainly didn't do anything as any more, like, significantly wrong than a lot of what the heroes in the MCU have done without getting punishment. Like, so much that all of them do that the shows just choose when they will care about it. Uh, is this not the same thing as Dooku and Anakin, though? Um, well, so, if Anakin, when he grabbed the Dooku's lightsaber, chopped off his hands, spun around, and Dooku went, you know, no, stop, and then Anakin just chopped the head off. I don't know it would be as explicit, but, um, especially if Dooku had just killed Obi-Wan as well. Um... And that Dooku... Oh. Well, no, sorry. It would have to be that Dooku didn't lose his hands as well. And you still had a lightsaber available. Like, you still... Dooku's threat level is still... Are you talking as, about as trying to uh, make it comparable to what happened with um, Walker? Yeah. That's, that's yeah, because the, the, the reason why it's... The reason why the Dooku one is like, oh boy, is because he's incapacitated. He, he, like, he has no capacity to harm you anymore. You got him. This yeah. is just an execution. Um, yeah. The problem with the the other one was that it was in the heat of battle. Um, this dude is a super soldier who is not like incapacitated. In fact, he kept trying to get up. Um, he kept trying to run away. Like that was wasn't that. And also, he was the guy who just held you to try and s get you stabbed. That was the guy, there's, wasn't it? There's he a lot of elements it. to it, right? Like one of yeah. the things to remember is he had recently attempt reattempted to. You can definitely argue hurt to kill. Um, Walker, when he threw, he threw like a drinking fountain at him, it was all concrete, because yeah, he's a super soldier. Yeah, if he wasn't a super soldier, that might have fucked him up. Which I, And he didn't know that. They don't know that, yeah, they didn't know that at that point. No. Um, at least I don't think they did, I'd have to rewatch this. He's still cause... actively trying to get away, he's not, the only time when he's like, oh no, don't hurt me, he doesn't even, like, properly surrender. And then there's of course, he's just like, this is the thing, we, we went over this on the stream, but there's, then there's the factor of you're heading into a public plaza, these these yeah, people in these people scenarios around. are very likely to take a hostage, which would be very, very bad. Well, I mean, it's... it's um, I, he's I, super yeah. dangerous whether or not he has a knife or a gun. He's a... Uh, well, he's a super soldier. Yeah. He's, um, and then, of course, he's he's recently executed when, he, uh, when the members of your team... Friend. Yeah. Well, he didn't do it, but he was part of the group that did it. Because him saying it's not me, it's like, I don't know what the hell, like, what- He held what, him, didn't he? He, tried, he held, yeah, he held Walker, but he didn't, he didn't specifically kill Lamar. I mean, He's like, oh, that wasn't me. It's like- I understand just, yeah. there is a difference. <laughs> However, if I hold someone down so that you guys can stab them, I feel like I should be able to be considered someone who killed them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's beyond just accomplice. Like, you were actively participating in it. Because- if you guys, like, if you guys were just swinging axes over and over and over and over again, and then I push someone into that sort of thing, that's, there's essentially no difference between those two things. Um, and yeah, I think in that scenario, people would be like, oh, you definitely killed him that time. And I'd be like, no, this kind of killed him both ways, didn't I? So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, I hate the idea that he's like, it wasn't me. It's some fucking bullshit. Um, Only a fucking child could even potentially fall for that. Yeah, Dooku's got his hands chopped off, he lost his lightsaber, and he's clearly, like, inactive. Dude. Yeah. And there is... Why do they do that scene and that also, way? Anakin has a little bit more time to think about it than Walker did. Walker didn't have, like, time, really. Yeah, and like I said, he's... Anakin he's, had, like, a good five minutes to contemplate it. In, in a court, it would totally be relevant that he's incredibly emotionally breached as well. Like, he's... Yeah, uh, of course it would. But the dude, th th like, not ten seconds earlier, the dude threw a water fountain at him. Like, what? Like, and he kept trying to run away. He just kept running. Like, he, and then he kept trying to get up. Um, so yeah, because uh, obviously we had, uh, I think it was Cosmonaut that said there was no moral downside to Anakin just cutting Dooku's head off. He was fine with it. And, like, eh. Um... Maybe if Dooku got some robot hands out of his pocket, and then he could become a threat, you know? Do, do Cap might have killed Tony in Civil War if he killed Bucky. Maybe. I, I think that would be something that you could experiment with to try and push Cap to the edge. Um, 
Got to use blunt force trauma so the kids don't get scared. I'm actually fine with that. Um, because the, the the idea is to show the power of the super soldier serum as well, right? Like she uh, she punched him in the heart essentially, right? Yeah. Well, punched him in the chest, whatever the case. Yeah. Like heart, lungs. The, yeah. This a rare moment in the MCU where they showed the actual repercussions of force. Yeah, because generally nothing comes of it. People just sort of yeah, like it's like oh, I got one far away. Well, I mean, we, yeah, like, and not realizing that if you have that amount of force, like, localized into a very small portion of your body, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, my, my memories have all just slipped back into place. So, guy who didn't kill Lamar was holding Walker in place to be killed. Yes, and then, then Carly was going to stab him, and then Lamar tackled Carly, and then she punched him and killed him. Yeah, and it's part, it's kind of the reason why it's baffling that the terrorists are there. Like, oh no, someone died. It's like, what? What? It, you were yeah. trying to do that. Trying, like, yeah. what do you think was gonna happen? Like, this was your goal. Maybe that's the reason just why shocked I, that they killed someone who could actually fight back. I, I guess it, that's the reason why it's like really annoying that it's presented as it is. It's like these guys were trying to kill them. Like this, like. What do you think was going to happen? Like, of course someone was going to get killed if you're a bunch of super soldiers coming in with an intent to do it. If I remember correctly, they wanted to like... kill Captain America specifically, like, to yeah. create a message of some kind, right? Sure. But, well, yeah, because remember, Carly said, I don't mean to, I don't want to kill people that don't matter, which oh, was a very God. smart thing to say to Walker. Like, this no, is what I mean. What Carly am I meant to is... do with that? Like, oh, yeah, these these poor people who, like, apparently it doesn't matter when you kill someone. <laughs> like, what the hell? What is this? See, and I could already see, like, Zemo dialogue if you were in the room being, like, so fucking annoyed that she would have said that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the well, whole point is everyone like, matters to somebody. Thing. Yeah, that was, that was the whole thing with Zemo, right? It's like, oh, the Avengers went home, that's cool, but my family got killed. In like, fact, that I kind of, to me. kind of wish he were in the room so we could comment on that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Okay, so an active terrorist who is currently engaging in open combat in civilian populated streets. Uh, CAO literally neutralized a threat. Also has a, a super terrorist doesn't need weapons to kill en masse. Yeah, yeah. This, this, it was a big conversation. Yeah, that's, that's that's the thing that really makes it to where you can't... Like, if it was a regular person, I would say that that changes a good amount. Like, it was just a normal guy. But, like, in this case, he's a super soldier. He is the weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw what he could do five seconds earlier when he threw a giant water fountain at him. I just, uh, just remember when that scene had happened, so many people were, like, immediately complimenting the show for representing... The darker side of using Captain America as a symbol by just showing the blood on the shield shit, and it's just like, Ugh. yeah, when it's just a matter of that that shield's been bloody a lot. It just wasn't put on there because this, there were films. Like, what do you, what do you think happens when Cap like punches his shield into someone's face? You don't think blood's ejecting out of their nose all over that thing, or like when he throws it at someone's neck, like that there's not going to be skin or like <laughs> blood getting on it. But just any number of the times he throws it at people. Didn't... It's just you don't think about it because they never showed it. The next one says, didn't Cap throw a Hydraman into a plane's propeller in his first movie? Yeah, he... That's fine. He, nice. he, uh, he threw a lot of people into a lot of things and blew Dude, a lot Cap's of things Dude, Cap's kill count up. is pretty high. Um, and it's not yeah, a kill count that makes course, me go like, war. you're a like, bad person. It was... It's like, no, no, no. no. It's, war. <laughs> it's a war. He's fighting against Hydra who wants to destroy the world. It's like... It, uh, it's it's more so just that um it's annoying when in one instance it, like the the universe sort of appreciates I guess in a meta sense like well yeah but like this is a war you know he's fighting combatants but then in this other sense it's like well we have a point that we want to push here like we have a goal here that doesn't really align so we're just gonna momentarily pretend that reality isn't what it is. Look how well it works out. Yeah. In the scene where Zemo kills the scientist, the RPG prop they use to blow up the container is not an RPG, it's a rocket glued to a sniper rifle, lol. Is it? Oh, really? Oh, God. <laughs> nice. That sounds awful, but hey. Whatever you gotta do, like, huh? Yeah. Um... 
Amazing Lucas just made a video about how Falcon and Winter Soldier is amazing. South Pole destroy this man on this and Snyder Cut. I've heard of Amazing Lucas here and there. Uh, I feel like I could have been sure, but he's like a vlogger. I don't know anything about him. I think, Pink? or that's the format. Um, he recently had a debate with um, Eric July over, over something. I think it was the Batman stuff with, the, with what Ryan Kinnell had said. Gosh, the oh, drama okay. never stops. A whole year later. <laughs> um, what, you referenced in Hassan? Or? <laughs> oh, no, 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 just... Because the Batman was like, the year before... Uh, no, 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 Batman is a year ago. after, a year later. It will be a year ago in a year, about, thereabouts. Hmm. Some of those lines. <clears throat> They accepted a black Iron Man and black Captain America. It was Iron Patriot. Um, they don't remember Iron Patriot. We don't talk about that. But while well, MCU conveniently forgets about a lot of its history, which is really yeah. fucking stupid considering and that that MCU. history is useful. That's the whole point. Yeah, but it's it's not. It's just that the characters sort of appear when they are needed, and then they don't when they're not. Like that's that's all it is. It's. It's taking all of the, the benefits, the perceived benefits, without any of the trade-offs, which is you have to work really hard to maintain continuity. Like, there needs to just be a guy whose job is to keep track of all of these things, who gets contacted every time there's a project, who knows exactly where everybody is at any given time. I'm sure they're aware that that was a thing they could do, but they just decided it's not worth it. Like well, I mean... It clearly doesn't matter, right? Like, all you need to do is, um... Because I, I think I think if you were to look now, there would be a general consensus that the MCU has achieved what people wanted for a long time, which is characters interacting with each other in context that makes some sense. But, like, we kind of... We don't really have that. Um, okay. We have, like, we're halfway there, you know? I think they see literally every one of these dis discussions about continuity and uh, just maintaining rules in the same way that if they had this incredible grand finale that paid off like everybody's characters and used all the technology and and, and whatever of this sci-fi fantasy world and then someone came up to them and said can't do this your um you know phase on generators don't actually operate at a 30 spark per minute so that light over there and this extension over here can't be those large that large and that long you have to change them i think they see it all like that they'd just be like no which I guess is really funny, because I guess I can see how you would see those as being the same, but they're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're very, very different. Yeah, you have to Just, try and I end mean, up arguing to them. Like, the whole reason we're invested is because we care about who the... Seeing the people that we know to be X continue to be X, not randomly yeah. random other things. But I guess the problem is, you look at, like, like a lot of the hype around multiverses, specifically, oh, who's gonna show up on the, like, Illuminati team? But it's like I don't I don't know what that I don't know what that means you know what is that meaningfully, um, like in universe in terms of why this would be the team that that exists other than well no I want to see like Patrick Stewart as Xavier again oh, Xavier <laughs> I want to see all of these people I think I think it is that's what it is I want to see them and I want to see them interact but I don't really care it, how they got there or if it even makes much sense for them to be there. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like that's the case. It's hard not to feel like that's the case when so much of what's been coming out lately has been very well received and leans hardcore into that problem. Like, Civil War was this weird anomaly where characters, like, where, where it seemed like there was a deliberateness in terms of who was there and why. You know, we gotta take Thor out of play because if Thor exists uh, on Earth, screws everything up we got to get hulk out of play but i don't know if we just don't care anymore uh. what kills me is sam not using his war veteran counseling background to talk to john be there for him but jumping at every chance to forgive carly aka a terrorist yeah y yeah uh Why sam's desperate to understand carly kids? but he won't give any patience or time to to walker someone who's lived a similar life if not a much more intense one than falcons yeah. but who cares right yeah yeah the writers decided it for it to be that way because that's the thing you know if we can take a second like falcon wouldn't do that the falcon that was established no. he, he wouldn't but the fake falcon in this show <laughs> would because Asshole you, Falcon. You just leverage him to do whatever you want. 
But molar, isn't the morality of an action based on how it makes us feel? Hey, well, in a sense. Um, I thought they were going to go the way of, isn't it based on whatever the consequences end up being? Um, we, uh, we, we talked for all kinds of, We knew that when that subject came up, I think, when we did this coverage, it was like, alright, here we go. Yeah. It's the bit. Yeah, because episode four was when we were like, whoa, that was painful. Yeah. Um, in the scene... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, Rags so right about the Mass Effect series. Preach, brother Rags. I know, I've, definitely. Whatever I said, there was something there. Hmm. Uh, you think after Civil War, Falcon would want to make sure another hero like War Machine doesn't get seriously injured or almost die? Do you mean... Oh. Well, in terms of that would be a big priority, is making sure that no teammates are getting harmed, maybe even to an extent that is... Well, he uh, doesn't care about Walker, though. No, he'll break his arm to steal All his Lamar. property. <laughs> they, he, they abandoned both of them to be killed by the fucking super soldiers, remember? Yeah. That's a different scene than the one we were talking about earlier. Because yeah. plenty to choose from. Save mm. their lives. It's like, oh, yeah, this guy's like, you guys would have been dead if not for him. Yeah, that's, that's what, it dead, makes it so much worse. Than he's, for him. He if, he, if, them, he wasn't yeah. there, if he wasn't there to save the senators, um, he would have arrived too late to stop it from falling. Yep. They'll all likely be dead. Yeah. Uh. The fact that she actively tries to stop him from saving them, and I'm meant to feel bad for her. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Walker never sat back watching others attack. Not that we saw, no. He got three medals of honor, so I'm willing to believe that he's a pretty honorable dude. Three medals of honor, damn. Like, that's never happened in reality. <laughs> like, so in the, in the Marvel, I think the most someone's gotten is two, I think. I'm not sure. There is, there is a list on Wikipedia. Falcon blew soldiers up with missiles, shot a bunch of guys, and kicked people off bridges in Winter Soldier, some of which may have been tricked. So? Well, fine, because he did oh, are we, oh, are we talking about just, like, the number of people who've been killed, <laughs> just in Lots general? Lots of killing. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you have this, like, in this show that has terrorists and stuff in it, and is, like, following up the Captain America films, and it was just like, oh, but you know, like, well, no, it doesn't, because in the opening, remember, he kills a bunch of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sam isn't virtue signaling with his speech at all. Like, some people have complained. What happened with the snap and the blip affected everyone? Um. I'm not sure which part you're referring to. Well, if, just, if it's just a defense of Sam's speech, Sam isn't virtue signaling with his speech at all. I would say he is. He's, he's So, like, the way he's doing it is... Good things should happen to people. That's what I think. How? Yeah, pretty well, much. Like it's, I don't know how. It's but positive sentiment, but nothing to actually help anybody achieve these things. Yeah, like he, he doesn't offer actually anything of substance. He just says he wants good things to happen for people. Which to me, ah. like that sounds like a virtue signal. Because uh, the fact is, all of them want that too. It's not like they want to be evil mustache twirling fucking members of a council that just fuck everyone over like the, why would you assume that um but uh, I don't know if it was a pile of defenses saying the snap and blip affected everyone it's like I don't think anybody thinks otherwise do they I don't see why they would Um, I relate to Fringy. My finger was trapped in a metal door and I got a new game. I got a new game a while ago. Loved the game. My finger hurt a ton while playing. Oh, I remember that. Oh, it yeah, yeah. That's because I uh, I got my finger jarred on, Chris on Christmas Eve while I was playing basketball. And then I got a PlayStation 3 the day after a little big planet and it hurt for like two weeks. Play through the pain. Yeah, I did because I was really excited to get little big planet for PlayStation and a PlayStation 3. Um... But yeah, that sucked.
In the opening scene with the helicopters and the wingsuits, none of those guys should have been able to air, even enter the helicopter because the rotors would have blown them down and away. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Right. I didn't even think of that because the wind. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. How would you have even... Because remember, they wingsuited into the uh, into the helicopters. Yeah. Physics doesn't exist in the MCU, okay? Physics just gets Very in the selective. way. So I don't know if this is true in the show or movies, but Bucky was injected with an SH serum, which basically gave him Cap's powers along with immortality. Oh. I don't think they've said that that's the case, have they? I don't think so. No. It's just a matter of he was... Well, he, he's the same as Cap. He was, he was frozen for a while. Yeah, exactly. Well, for most... Yeah, because he only got unfrozen to do missions, so that's why he's still pretty much the same age. Yeah. Sam has killed numerous people. His suit has rockets. He dropped a man to his death in episode one, twice, I think. Could you all uh, see all three of them just murdering everyone after Lamar dies? I'm done. I could see Bucky, Falcon, Cap, pretty much any hero in the MCU okay. uh, really? going yeah. nuts and killing a person if they lost their best friend. Like, it's, it's not even hard at all to imagine. Mm -hmm. Cap is, like, the only like, question mark, but even then. Well, could you imagine what Tony would have done? Like, yeah. if Rhodey got killed? I mean, we saw how pissed off he was when he thought, like, when Rhodey was alive but seriously injured. Well, I suppose and, then and so they like would counter with, yeah, and he'd be wrong for doing that, too. I mean, mm, sure, but Depends like, on what the I, music was. Yeah, it does depend on what the music was. They're very easily led astray. They're, they're very easy to manipulate. I just need to know if there's blood on his, uh, his suit, you know? On his gore, on his eye, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, this doesn't feel like a connected universe anymore. All these stories don't connect to each other, and no one acknowledges any other superheroes. And I guess I, I agree with you, but the thing is, is that a lot of people would be like, what are you talking about? It's more connected than ever. Look at how, like, characters team up and interact. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that is a general perception, is that it is more so now than it was before, like the comics, and that you have characters interacting, but the difference is that with, like, the comics, it seems like it was a lot more frequent, just by virtue of maybe even the medium, that you, you can get exactly whichever characters you need uh, that are relevant to whatever story it is that you're telling. Ah, oh, relevant. Get it? Um, no, I, I don't, don't actually... Uh, yes, like it's like the guy we covered. Yeah. Kind of like yeah, I know, I know that, yeah. but yeah. Dodge your stream left. Watched two other podcasts, took a shower, and you guys are still here. This is why I love EFAP, never change. Oh, yeah, we got some <laughs> long boys. With more long boys on the way. Um, When Bucky was Hydra, he wasn't fighting for himself. There was a film about that, too. Oh god, is that referencing some kind of fucking thing that they told Bucky about him fighting for himself or something? I don't even... I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna move right along. Uh, chairs and tables. My two weaknesses. I rags. Chairs and tables. <laughs> the chair doesn't chairs ever stop me funny. Well, that was so fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> I mean, no. This was highlighted as well, like, it's so awkward having, giving Falcon cap shield because a lot of his combat is, like, based in the air, so they just have to... Uh, the shield's getting ridiculous. He'll like throw it down at someone and it always bounce exactly back up to him. Well, and yeah, he doesn't have like, super soldier serum either. So no super I don't reflexes. Even know that I, believe that Cap I don't even think if Captain America was flying around that he'd be able to do all that shit. You well, know? It's a bit of an like, ask that he does it at all. Um, you have to sort of be like, yeah. he's able to calculate it because he's got great vision and understanding of physics. All right. Yeah. Wherever he learned that from. Yeah. Well, I'm willing to. Let's say that it comes with the Super Soldier Serum, it gives him heightened yeah, everything. Maybe. Well, yeah, because like some of the some of the shit that he's achieving in uh, that final episode, when he's like flying around, popping the shield out, yeah. grabbing it, throwing it. I think he threw. Oh, that was the one. So like he 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 pops the shield off his back, grabs it while he's flying, throws it at the door of the helicopter, and then flies through the helicopter, and punts the dude out. Like, god yep. damn. If chairs can beat Vibranium, does that make Chris Hansen an Avengers level threat? I'd say so. <laughs> Hopefully Mysterio can take him out. Avengers level threat. Is chair summoning wizardry or sorcery? 
I think that's it's mm. its own sort of thing, like a chair, so. chair yeah, whispering sort of thing. It's like a, it's like a whole yeah. discipline. I don't know what the Latin is for furniture, so I, can, I, I make a pun. No, I can tell you that. Yeah. Uh, very few have mastered it, though. I know that. Um, the shield was able to tank a hit from Mjolnir, so I guess a chair is stronger than that. It was a weird moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very weird moment. Probably that, should have that just sliced right funny, through that chair. That a chair can stop something <laughs> that fucking absorbed the energy of Mjolnir and deflected it back at Thor while he was dropping it down. Thor. Thor using Mjolnir. And that was, that was back when we were still focusing on what Thor's flaws were, because, uh, as much as his first film is about trying to lose the arrogance, like, he's still got yeah. a bit of it in that battle with, uh, Steven Definitely. and Iron Man. Because, you know, him starting out, like, my quarrel is not with you, and then it doesn't take him long to just be like, fuck you, like, get the hell out yeah. of my face. Because it's like, yeah, because oh, Thor's, you know, a different man, but not a completely different man. Later on, you people are so petty and tiny. It's like, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a funny thing to say. Yeah, because it's the thing. Whedon took... I believe he probably watched the other movies in the fucking... Uh, before he made Avengers. Who knows? Well, I, you, you wonder about that sometimes. Uh, how how many of the films have been watched or, you know... <sighs> and he hmm. he dropped the seeds for the, the conflict between Iron Man and Cap. You know, Avengers is where Civil War is drawn back to in a lot of ways. But then again, it's drawn back to basically all the films. It's kind of crazy in that way. It builds on all of them. And it even takes in the Ugly Ducklings. Um, I need Charizard Pokemon now. What type would it be? It would be Fire oh, and Dragon, right? Charizard. Oh, Charizard. Someone oh, made artwork for that. It was just Charizard, but with a chair head. Uh, maybe like furniture type? Yeah. Decorative? He's a decorative Pokemon? What does weakness be? Oh, fires and mortgages. Makes sense. Like if your house gets repossessed. Mortgage Pokemon. Taking the chairs. Uh, I think the chair was CGI. The ball was the marker that Batrock kicks for that shot. They just failed to remove it in some shots or replace it with chair. Yeah, I think so. Remember that? The little ball on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a marker. Yeah. Normally they use a piece of tape or something like that, but I don't know. Supposed to be brushed Someone out, though. Yeah. Uh oh. I wonder if they brush it out now in the streaming version. Ooh, I don't know. I can't wait to never find out, ever. Mm -hmm. True. Probably a mirror ball for CGI effects. The chair is probably CGI. A mirror ball for CGI effects. Yeah, I think they use those sometimes. I'm not sure. I think I just uh, wonder don't how it would... that they figure out their lighting. How would it benefit you for the chair? Ah, uh, I don't know how it would for the chair, but I think usually the ball is helpful for lighting. You can use it as like a point of reference. Sigh, one of the Flag Smashers uses a Green Goblin gas bomb. They do? I I'm assuming you just mean that. a gas bomb in general, not like an actual Green Goblin one. But it, was, oh, it probably wasn't a Green Goblin one. Huh? Yeah, you worry me. Don't do it. Yeah. Uh, Jay Longbone was right about the little ball. Seriously, not giving y'all any more money after this. Oh, That's okay, though. I mean, you liked... Falcon the Winter Soldier. I can't imagine you would have had much fun in this room. If that were the case. I do not know. Um, Efab helped me with a lot. I hope it will help with my loss. I'll see you in the VODs. You're right. Sick. Do, do, do. Send a super chat earlier about my sick cat. She died in my arms earlier. Oh, man. Held her for over an hour, patting her in her final moments. It was all I could do to comfort her. Make sure to love your peps. That's while they're still with you. Absolutely. Sorry to hear that. Uh. Unlisted gang, rise up. So saith the unlisted man. 
Yeah, because we're getting uh, close to the last few of these now. Uh, an armored trucks melt steel beams. Well, uh, the thing about the armored truck was just whether or not Falcon should have been able to lift it, right? Because it. Yeah. Um, people, I think, the, tried the, to argue that he was vibranium. the force was going from his jetpack to his vibranium suit to the car, not his arms. But uh, I mean, I don't know about that one. I think it just doesn't work. Um, well, you you were saying earlier that you th you thought that uh, he had super strength from the suit, right? Or I think that's what we're meant to take from it. But like, I don't know why how that would work, you know? Because he is just. I think we are not meant to think about it. it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I I guess we'll see because uh, we're getting a lot more of him. As time goes on, I assume. We will be. Yeah. Finally catching up, I'm at EFAP89, I'm at the point where I recognize chat, so hi, Semantic Dragon, nice to see you on the 70th, 70th time, also hi, Rex. Hello. That is a regular for a whole EFAP. Bucky said John shouldn't quote Lincoln. Oh yeah, that was like right at the end. Uh, was Spider-Man Captain America in Civil War when he took the shield from Steve? Spider-Man, Captain America, and Civil when he took the shield from Steve. Uh, <laughs> is that... I don't... Uh. Uh, even when John says the Lincoln quote, Bucky is still a petty and says, not when you say it. Uh, if, if you're feeling ill about it, you can just be like, it's just a bit of playful banter, but it's just... You just want them to give John a fucking break at that point. A little bit. Damn, I went to sleep and seven hours later you're still going. Yeah. How oh, impressive. Awesome. See you again when I catch up at EFAP uh, 50 right now. Hey, okay. EFAP 50, almost three years ago? Goddamn. I must play. Ooh, this one sure is a long man. Though I was gonna miss it, uh, though I am gonna miss it when I saw it was live this morning. Yeah, it is long. Lamar of Us 2. <laughs> hmm. uh, the only thing missing was Sam telling Carly before she died, they'll never know what you sacrificed, like Mona, Monica told Wanda in WandaVision. Yeah, uh -huh. he kind of did say that, though. Like, he was like, do you know what her cause was? Do you know? And, and he kept, he was really sad to see that she got shot. Uh -huh. so, uh, you know, it's, it's all very strange. In case no one said, the Mafic chair orb is a marker. The chair is CGI. Instead of the actor just kicking the air and risking it looking unnatural, they haven't kicked the ball. They just forgot to CGI it out when they should have. <laughs> that Makes is. Sense. Wouldn't it yeah, be like it easier to make it a green ball at that point instead of because it was a black one, right? Make it super bright so that it is it is obnoxious and you can't possibly forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yet. Uh, and sure, serum. Yet. Hero makes you strong, but it doesn't teach you how to fight. These people just all randomly know how to fight. Um, I'd have to watch it again. I can't remember if they do anything more impressive than sort of flailing around. Falcon speech. It insists upon itself. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Hey, Falcon. There was a black man who served and fought with Cap in the Howling Commandos during World War II. We don't talk about him. Don't talk about any of the people that break this weird narrative this show was trying to run with. Mm -hmm. Probably worth yeah, mentioning, the, yeah. the only people who called and Sam Black Falcon were black. I'm not sure what the nobody idea with that, that was. Before. Nobody called him that before that show. He was just Falcon. There was no other Falcon. So how does, yeah. there's just no... There's no environment in which it makes any fucking sense at all to call him anything other than Falcon. It's just like, what do you mean Black Falcon? Falcon says, do better to the governments and offers no solutions. Congrats, show, you ended racism. Well, no, we ended uh, inequality. In that, yeah. in that, in, because that's what that, that's all that shit is about. I feel like Sharon and the Dawn would get along. Perhaps you can help her confront the abandonment issues and turn her from her evil ways. The Dawn can help everyone. Where's the Dawn goes great with him? everyone. Good lad. Um, and that's it. That is all of the oh, Falcon wow, Winter it? Soldier. 
Super chats, wow. yeah. Hmm. Oh. Well. Thank you all for uh, for like, giving this a listen. Sorry it took a, a whole year to catch up on this one. This is the first of a couple of these type of ones we're going to be making. Uh, don't know when exactly this will go out. But soon enough, we shall be caught up on Super Chats. Hooray. Oh. Hey. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for donations, and uh, you yeah, sleep well now. Thanks for sticking by. Goodbye. Yeah, we will see you later. Goodbye. 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 See you.